hate puppies. Good podcast. I feel threatened. Bold. Oh, that was my cue. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Inside the Pallet House, the only podcast dedicated to solving first world problems and hopefully helping you figure out what beer you should be drinking this weekend. Or not. Or coconut spiked waters. Yeah. Which seems to be the uh, the order of the day. Is it a little pre, pre-game deli happening here? The taste coconutty? Oh, it no. doesn't. It doesn't. It has that little aftertaste of coconut water, mm-hmm. but not. You ever had coconut water? I don't know if I have. Coconut water doesn't taste like coconut. Yeah. But it has like a weird flavor. It's actually pretty. Does coconut perfect. taste like coconut? Or is coconut like, the, is the flavor of coconut like a banana flavoring or grape flavoring? You know, yeah, like it's its, it's, its own thing. It's, it's candied up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they like add sugar to it and all this mm-hmm. stuff. It's like. But if you get your hands on a coconut, it's a slightly different flavor. It's adjacent. Brian, yeah. did you read Flip Before You Sip? No. Yeah. You jacked it up. But I can swirl now that it's open. <laughs> Fucking physics, man. There's always another way to do it. Very excited. We got a couple special guests here tonight. We got the the now no longer TikTok famous, or maybe TikTok Whoa. famous. I'm not sure. Ooh, I'm not sure. I'm fired. not sure. Yikes. Oh, no. We have Elle. It's not Hawk Tua. <laughs> She's the one who's no longer TikTok famous. That's right. You're still doing well. Totally different bird. Quite oh, yeah. literally. My mom saw you on her For You page yesterday. <gasps> so it's still coming up. Oh, okay. You are still TikTok yeah. famous. Yeah. Look and at that. And we have Kate. Welcome. Welcome to uh, Inside <laughs> the Pallet House. How the hell did you end up here? <laughs> You know, me and Elle have been friends for a long time, and I've been waiting for her to ask me to do this. I saw that she and her dad were making cocktails, and I came over to get a free one, and then I got dragged into this. <laughs> more, more free drinks. That's Allegedly. my answer. Mocktail. Mocktails. <laughs> Actually, the number one reason to come on the podcast is the free How drinks. How a lot of people show up here. I think that's the vast majority, yeah. unless we seek them out. Yeah. Like, remember the uh, liberal wrestler? Yes. He did not want to drink. Dan Goldust? No, this guy was literally the, the progressive liberal. The progressive liberal. Was it Dan wrestler? Richards. Dan. What was his name? He was like his yeah. shtick in the brilliant. ring. Brilliant. Was permanent progressive yeah. liberal, and he would like make fun of all the white trash wrestling fans. And he was pro Hillary at the time. Yeah, he would come in like with big Hillary signs yeah. or whatever, and he would he would come in and spout. And he'd be like, like "You're all a bunch of dumb." Hicks that, anyway, like, and I mean, place would be that guy can rocking. never recover from a heel. Like, there's no way any crowd will ever be like, you know what? Like when Hulk Hogan went Hollywood, but then he came back. No, but that old progressive liberal, liberal liberal will never come. Back. Well, you got to think though, in half the country, that probably plays well. The half that doesn't watch. Like wrestling. he goes up yeah. to New Hampshire and he's like gay rights, and like goes in, they're probably like hell yeah, and then he's the good guy. <laughs> But he goes into West Virginia, some back ass, you know, high school. Yeah, he had, he had like the bikini bottom that like had Hillary's face all over it. <laughs> He'd come in with like a rainbow flag. It was yeah. brilliant. It's a great, it's a great shtick. And he would go into really, really red places. It's basically the 2020 Iron, she- Iron Sheik. Yes. But it couldn't be any further from the Iron Sheik. He wants women's rights. Iron Sheik was was the opposite direction. I mean, a a universally hated uh, character. Yes. No, he's not universally hated. Half the country likes him. No, No. by wrestling fans. By wrestling fans. So you don't think there's a bunch of woke wrestling fans? You think it's pretty much exclusively red states? Yeah, you hear you. They're real popular. No, I I I had never really thought about it. Really. You think that there is I don't some, think about wrestling a lot. I don't think I've thought about it. You think I there just, are some Middle Eastern uh, wrestling fans like, I certainly do love that Iron Sheik. Thank God he's being Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan right now. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I just got to think. We've lost the girls immediately. <laughs> yeah. That's how like, it's this done. is 40-year-old yeah. references. That's how, it's, that's how it's done. The only thing yeah. I know about wrestlers, they're all short. I'm just thinking that it's strange that all the red states want to see two guys wrestling around with each other on the floor. <laughs> you <laughs> get it. Valid point. Yeah, nipple to nipple. You know, Kate might be my favorite daughter. Yeah, the one who holds the other <laughs> guy down the longest wins. I'm not gonna lie. That like I never got into like high school wrestling or whatever. 
what would that is that just wrestling not pro wrestling but like that's greco-roman wrestling i don't think it is i think greco-roman is a totally different thing well it's certainly closer to greco-roman than point wwe is, it always seemed very weird to me the guys that were really into wrestling in high school that were like i can't wait to rock this singlet in an unair conditioned room and roll around on a mat with these dudes all afternoon <laughs> this one comedian in a tight said, little outfit yeah of course this one comedian said that uh Brazilian jiu-jitsu was like two gay guys that are getting together and then halfway through one guy realizes he's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm no good at it. <laughs> it's the second half that yeah. I just can't I can't wrap my head around. No, you're the other guy. Makes more sense. Yeah, keep fighting. <laughs> Get back over here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you only got one nipple out. That's weird. Let's settle this like men. Yes. On the mat. <laughs> exactly. Chest to chest. Yeah, well, I'm glad you guys are here. <laughs> <laughs> it took an odd turn. So this is literally your last uh well, actually hold on. Let's let's go right to the TikTok famous. Okay. Did it did it taper off if things calm down? Your DMs like was I been at better one place? million views when I was here? Or was it one no. million likes? I think you were at three million views. I, I don't delineate. Dave acting like he okay. doesn't know the exact number. I, mean, I, I do know the exact number, yeah. but I'm trying to remember back then. I think it was 3 million when she came on. and then a, I had like 800,000 likes. Yeah, and a couple we weeks later. Because we were making later, jokes about how I wouldn't make it to a million. And a couple weeks later, it was like 7.5 or 6. And I just checked today, and it's like 8 million total. Yeah, so with it's one point. It's definitely tapered off. Yeah. Okay. Even with the owl dying? No. <laughs> what? He died? No. They, they, that's not funny. They sent us an update and they moved him out to the outdoor enclosure and he's nice. doing a lot better. So. Have y'all gone to visit yet or are you still big timing them? Yeah. We were supposed to go and then. We were making cocktails and. Uh, no, we were supposed to go and then my mom got sick on uh, our schedule. Yeah. Did you hit her with a car? That's <laughs> Yeah. I just like the owl. <laughs> I'm going to get more famous. I'm going to save my own mother. <laughs> I hit my mom. <laughs> no, I Brilliant. wouldn't say I hit her. No, no. I've been in the car in front the, of the me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. That's my What's job. this mom-like dent on the front of your car? <laughs> oh, that was already there. Okay, so the owl is alive. Yes. Have you had any other uptick, like any other videos that people have... have I've been... T well, I just posted one today, but it was just about me getting my hair done. I've been too scared for the past, like, two months to post something, because I'm like... She oh, literally I have 12,000 fans it. now. Like, I don't know what they want to see. I don't have any more animals <laughs> to save. I'm scared. I think so. they like hawks. I think that's uh, been pretty big. Like, how do you top that is what you're yeah. Right, like, about. that was my Two one and done. Them. So now I'm, I'm just like, waiting for all the followers to leave once I don't save any more animals, honestly. Yeah, they, you do kind of have to come with something pretty decent. I feel like I went zero to 100. Like, I can't really go. So you, know? you just stopped. Yeah. You did not chase the fame at all. I'm too scared to do that. I have too many haters out there. I can't get famous. But not, wow, not, that is not the normal. Not I the think, listener route. Bailey. Yeah, she reached out to you. That was awesome. Or he? Oh yeah, someone she or he. commented and was like, "I came from the podcast." That's right. Shout you, out to you. You got one. Oh, wow. You got one. Got one fan. Thank you. No, it's, <laughs> and see that one's real. Yeah, that one's legit. People still like. It's very weird. Like it definitely like. Is at a standstill, but every so often I'll get a notification like someone new commented. It's very weird. Like, do your friends and roommates treat you differently now? No, I wish. No, <laughs> what it is is that it gave all the guys that want to talk to you another pickup line to work oh, on. Oh yeah. yeah, I think I, that's what the majority I love of owls the reaction too. has been. No. That was my new owl tattoo oh, on no, my no. forearm. Are, Are guys like Hooters? using it yes. as a pickup line? So many guys, oh, like my I've old talking stages from high school, like messaged me and they're like, "Yo, like, how's the owl?" And I'm like, "Oh, he's good." He's like, "So like." Can I take you out? And I'm like, all right. Oh. All right, guys. Let's. <laughs> if I hit an owl, will you take your shirt off for me? No, people were like, I'm going to start dressing up as an owl. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I did think that there was an interesting opening scene. I thought I it couldn't was. Yeah. I had nothing else. I couldn't help it. Yeah. What do we think of that, Kate? Yeah, see, I like that, that she. Let's she ask for a woman's. She busted her yeah, balls she... right away. <laughs> This is Elle's future roommate. Yeah, choose your like words wisely. The next week. <laughs> you know. <laughs> whoa. Do I think that it hurt? It definitely the didn't popularity? hurt. popularity? No. Do I believe that there were pure intentions? Yeah, of course I do. Could she be a little less slutty? Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
that's messed up for a father to I'm say. I'm interested to see how Do I think how that the angle of the video could have been a little bit different? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, I was not expect. I was for my private story, which has like 20 people on it, my closest friends. So. I say we stick to the narrative, though. Start by stating the obvious that you're not wearing a shirt. I think that's a good lead into a TikTok video. And I made the, my caption of the TikTok was, I had nothing else. This is my new car. There was nothing in there. I don't have blankets. I don't have towels. It was me and my shirt. Now you have shirt. an owl rescue kit in the back of oh, your yeah. car at all times? Oh, yeah. I got times. like four towels in there. And she wasn't broadcasting it on TikTok. She recorded it and, and first sent it to her friends. Do you not yeah. understand how the phone works? Like TikTok's a public thing. No, but I had taken I'm the video. Her to, video that she took, it, it's like uh, in legal speak, there's an excited utterance when you say that, something. Well, no, that's what we were saying. There was an excited utterance yeah. at the very beginning. The exactly. utters were there. That that And that is like the most pure, not utters. <laughs> oh, or is this a different <laughs> word? All right. I'm back out. <laughs> But sorry, thanks for having me, guys. Had, see you, had, see you never. <laughs> we'll, we'll stop. The utterance. I, I, no, but she, it was posted on Brandon TikTok, saw right? Video with that name earlier today. No, I'm not on TikTok. I've but, been at work all day. <laughs> you know, so? I'm starting to think that maybe you with your shirt off just attracts them because the next time we saved a bird it was when we were floating down the river in bikinis oh yeah i forgot about that when Quite we, saved a, we saved a bald Seriously? eagle on the fourth of july on the James what? river yeah. you didn't get a tiktok, you didn't TikTok that? that well my parents videoed it but i was like i can't post this oh because your parents hold on was this after the owl yes. incident yes. oh you fumbled three, it three weeks three weeks later crap. Yeah. fumbled that i mean that was my big one a bald eagle owl to bald yeah. eagle it was USA. on july 4th you, USA. That's more Rah. bikinis, American Eagles, <laughs> Where was in July 4th. That that's been the USA. One. Yeah. That's, there's no, nothing more USA. I that, know. Yeah. Oh, I, you would have been so much more viral. Okay, but it wasn't, like, I wasn't hands-on picking up. Like, we saw a bald eagle that couldn't fly on the bank. And this, like, crazy-looking lady was like, where's the eagle? Where is it? And we're like, what? Oh, it's down here. She comes down. She, like, slides down the bank. Because it was, like, a <laughs> steep hill. She, she slides it. down. Oh, so the, it wasn't a graceful slide. No, no, no. <laughs> and then she, she beat the shit out of the bird with the out of this bald eagle. The, what? Owl, Wait, what? The bald eagle starts swimming towards us. And I'm like, I don't have a shirt, so I can't save it. I, uh, I, I know. That's really what does it's it. It's like Superman without a cape. Just so, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we Powerless. start trying to like guide it towards her. And she's like, stop, like stay there. So we're like, okay, like we're, whatever. She swims out to it, takes this big net and just smacks the shit out of this bird, like smacks it. So it's, but it wouldn't go in the net because it's, yeah. it's, it's like a fishing net. This is a huge. Oh, they have eagle. huge wingspans. She's for sure. hitting it and she's like, get in the net. And we're all and like, this there's now 30 people watching. Bit. We're yep. like, what is happening? <laughs> she finally gets she's it. She's like holding it by its feet. I must break you. <laughs> Then she's like trying to scale this bank that well, she's no, just I, fallen down. I think it down. got personal because once she realized that her phone got wet because it was oh, in her pocket, yeah. she went to chase it. I think oh. it got personal after that. Oh, she I was think, now mad at the yes, birds. Yes. I think that that's that added to it. Yeah. So then she's trying to. She has owl feet. Like she's holding it by its feet in one hand. Sorry, it's on the brain. <laughs> Bald eagle, with one hand trying to scale this bank she had just fallen down she's like eating shit over and over and over again like because i don't know how she it's falling muddy. on the poor bird yes, probably on this poor dropping bird. the bird then that's a hate crime this on the fourth of july yeah. well the kicker is there was a family right it gets worse well no this is okay. just like kind of funny so they're burning a flag american flag for heat right? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? my dad calls out he's like my daughter saved an owl. Did you guys see the TikTok? And one of the little kids was like, that was you? Oh, wow. They Shut had the seen front my, door. I'm serious. And then his dad, this little boy's dad, takes like off nine. his shirt, takes off his shirt and gives it to the woman to help bring this bald eagle up the side of the river. Dad, dad, he knew how to do it. I've inspired people. That's what it comes down to. Um, the fact is that dad saw the TikTok. Hey, little boy. <laughs> hey, the little let boy the was like, nice hooters. <laughs> let, the, let the kid watch. Yeah. <laughs> let the boy watch. But, yeah. Oh, that is. You really kind of dropped the ball there, El. Well, I wasn't really doing much. It was just me, like. Well, you should have. You that, That's your sign. You should have swam over that thing. I'm Kate scared she started beating it. the shit out of me with that net. Well, You, you should have punched her in the throat. <laughs> to be fair, Kate That would have gone viral. Yes. Kate, <laughs> Kate was like, quit yeah. being a whore, El. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That is not what happened. Well, oh, I thought that's what happened. It's a, first of all, I called her a slut, not a whore. <laughs> oh, my God. It 
it's become a joke now. One time I was safe, like, there was this bee at the beach and I was trying to like get it out of the water and Kate was like, of course she's saving the bee with her boobs out. <laughs> so that was like an inside joke. Anytime. I was like, there's a bee in the water. Let me run back to the beach to grab my shirt and bring it into the water. <laughs> Scoop up the little bee. What is happening? Yeah. Kate gets it though. So you guys are going to have a great yeah, uh, so you guys sophomore have year sought, e- sought each other out to be roommates. <laughs> yeah. Because you like someone just that gives a you a little off? guff. No, we have two randoms. <clears throat> two randos. Mm-hmm. But they're really sweet. Been texting with them. Mm. <laughs> two randoms. That gets dangerous. But why you do you But it's two v one v one because they're not. Yeah, friends. they don't know each other. Ah. Why, why do you have two randos? Well, well, <laughs> funny you ask. Yes, we were originally. It was going to be me, Al, and my roommate from last year. But then around March, um, this roommate hit. was assigned to you last year. No. One of those. Oh, like a good um, friend. She just tricked me. No, she was from Nova. They they do the Ew. online. That's your first gross. sign. They do the online um, dating game now. Yeah. yeah. Um, wait, wait, wait. Please explain the online. Yeah. Game. You don't so know basically, this. for finding roommates now, um, people make these Instagram pages, and everyone who's in the class coming in. When they decide that they're going to tech, they send a bunch of pictures of themselves and a little caption. So if you don't want to room with someone that you already know, you can scroll on this Instagram to find people that you might want to live with. That could be from different Or can things. you search out someone you know? You can be yeah. like, oh, I know that person. I went to school with them. We weren't friends, but I'd like to room you can with be them. Like, yeah, I competed with that person. I know we have similar yeah, interests. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, there's probably a million That's kind of cool. So it's kind of Tinder for roommates, yeah. basically. You're like, and no, then, yes, yeah, you just no, send yeah. them like DMs. You start. So talking. you knew this roommate before, or so no? So I, I basically I had a roommate that I was planning to be with, and she was really cool. But then last minute, she ended up deciding not to go to tech. So then this was around March when there are just slim pickings. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, you're scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> You, My- you went, you went, you said, you said, I went. She accidentally. You said, she, I thought she said, I went. Okay. Yes, right. that's what anyway, she said. That's what going, she said. My going, roommate um, from last year, yes, I, I DM'd her and we ended up talking and, you know, we had some similar interests. And Wait, then, can we come up with like a name for her so we can, when we're speaking about her, we can. A s- name that's not a real name? Yes. Smelly. <laughs> Okay. Is that too close? <laughs> <laughs> no. So it's no. okay. So 46, 17. Basically. Yeah, let's come up with a, we need a name. I, Becky. I like Becky. Becky. Do y'all know a Becky? Yeah. I'm going to let Kate say her, we should go back and forth for our experiences first semester and then second semester so we can provide like what led up to what happened. Yeah, so me and Becky, we started talking. She's a natural. <laughs> She's perfect. Yeah. I went up to visit her, and I quickly found Before out. Before school started. Yes. I quickly found out that she was. This is a, pre-freshman year. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, I found out that she was a bit of a binge drinker. She was um, in uh, Northern Virginia? Yes. Yeah. Which part? The richest county in the entire country. Great Falls? Um, McLean? Yes. Loudoun? There Loudoun County. Loudoun County. Yeah. Yeah, those are all. Yep. That'll do. Um, Gross. I learned from Fairfax, which is like much cool. Learned some interesting things. (laughs) The first red flag I think was that they were putting their their dog through chemo. Um, and I walked yeah, into the house. Yeah, but you care for a dog, gross. I just saw... What? <laughs> I no, saw their dog lying on the ground motionless, just breathing, because they were just trying to keep him alive. He had been through surgery. They removed tumors from this dog. Oh, they like it did, was dying. It was dying. Like dying. It's a golden retriever. It was like... <laughs> yes. Oh, sounds like it was dead. Sad. That's That's... I don't think that's a red flag, Kate. Um, they love their dog. It could be a green flag. Okay. But you know what? Tell Elle's mom that that's a red flag because that'll save me a shit ton of money. No, this, Bailey's this, different. This fits Kate's uh, MO, though, because she hates saving animals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kate, when you said, when you said she, you, you found out she was a binge drinker, now that term means a lot of that's, things to a lot of a different people. That's a flag. <laughs> yeah. And like, sweet. Um, She's a sloppy drunk. Or yes, she just, I mean, oh God, she, yeah. she, her problem is that she doesn't eat at all to like yeah. make her drunk more extreme. And she yeah. was kind of getting me out of a situation where we were kind of going shot for shot. And I, you know, I was trying to keep up. And by the end of the first and night, you're that out we of met town. E- yes, by the first night that we met each other, she like voluntarily was like, oh, don't worry. Like, I'll help you throw up. 
fingers down my throat trying to make me throw this oh, up. I've oh, I've never heard this hello. story. Ni- nice to meet you. Oh, you know when I like known each other hardcore. for three hours. Yes. She gets um, after it. Ooh. Yeah. And then it just kind of escalated from there. I mean, my... She sounds like fun. My biggest recap so just of how she acted about going out was she was very into the term of networking versus, you know, making friends. So she would kind of be out from Wednesday to Saturday networking um, with the goal of just being in the best sorority party. So you didn't get a good vibe best. from her, but you ended from up living with her I for had no a full choice. freshman year. Yeah, I Sounds had no like choice. she's okay. already got a job offer from Brendan's company. <laughs> this is actually part of why I left Northern Virginia. Because I would, I would go out and every woman I met, I would try to do small talk. And then it was always, what do you do? And I'd be like, damn it, man. Like, is this, we got to go here? Like, yeah. we can't just see if we even enjoy the cut of our jib. Well, don't they yeah. first ask, where did you go to school? No, it's, it's what do you do? Because uh, in particular, when you were in D.C., if you weren't in politics, that was like, boom, get out. Like, right. half the people. Half the people were, if you weren't at a certain level by like 22, they were like, eh, I'm not interested. And then I'd come down to Richmond and girls would be like, what are you drinking? And I was yeah. like, oh, that's a very different attitude. Like, yeah. Okay, we can talk. And I eventually ended up finding my wife, and then we moved to Richmond, which kind of ruined the whole point of coming to Richmond originally. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it worked out. Like, I, it just annoyed me all the time hearing that shit. There is, there is a certain segment of the population up there that is only interested in what can you do for me, what's next. So, well, there's so a certain there's, segment of, of a population like that in any city. But a larger segment in Nova is what so you're what saying. So what did your wife... But if she, said, if she calls it networking, yeah. when she's going out drinking, it's a sign that she's going to graduate to that at some point. Mm-hmm. She'll be very snobby. Social climbing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she'll be a gold So what did your wife ask you? Uh, well, that's a lot there. <laughs> does, it, does it work? No, she... No. she uh, the first time she ended up walking away from me and told her brother to keep that dude away from me because you told her what you did i told her what i was gonna do <laughs> <laughs> it got it got weird it took a long time for me to, to curry favor from my so wife. so kate you were gonna even though you didn't have a really good freshman year y'all were gonna carry this girl into your new place no, sophomore year so what's what's hard about your living situation every year is that you we signed our lease by what november or earlier, late September. October. Oh yeah, for the um, following with, year, the which following was which year. was wow. late, which was very late. Most we were getting people, emails like you're screwed. If a you lot sign changes right in now. those oh, yeah. eight, nine, ten months. And so, and what am I supposed to? T- I knew already that I didn't want to live with her yeah. because very quickly I realized. But didn't how, you know you have to live with how her? How messy, the next. messy she was. Yeah. This was before, pre all her personality faults really coming through but i was very very aware of how messy she was but in those first six weeks everyone's scrambling for future roommates in this apartment and and what am i supposed to tell this girl before i live with her for the entire rest of the year oh yeah sorry i i'm not feeling it for next year my my poor roommate freshman year was probably like my best high school buddy like we hung out all the time and then we went to school together and we roomed together only for him to realize that that messiness that he had seen all through high school would be so much worse when my mom wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that really crossed his and mind. And when he couldn't get away from it. Yeah. You would walk yeah. in our dorm room and it was like a line down the center that's of the room. How, that's how it was for me too, except add she was a, a girl. stench <laughs> of self-tan and like five-day-old Chipotle. Oh. Just constantly. Yeah, see, I didn't have that because I had one of those tanning lights, and I would just <laughs> stick my face in front of it and just burn please, it in. Please tell me you're joking. I wish I was. Oh, my God. Had a self-tanning lamp. But that really didn't come out till sophomore year. <laughs> as someone, didn't really have to as see someone that who's had jobs in the past where I have to go into dorm rooms, I can state that girls' dorm rooms can be and tend to be way grosser than dudes. Yeah. What? You should have seen yes. my, the half That was roommate. beautiful. Thanks. No, I but know. I was the slob. I was well, they, I was the guy who put ask all these the these girls, they would know. 25% of Kate's was beautiful. 75% wasn't. Yeah, from a <laughs> But from when you go to your other fr- girls' rooms, a lot of them are really messy and gross, aren't they? The I can see how that would just because of all the I think it's just the makeup and the clothes and the getting dressed, but Like you can't see the floor in most where rooms. Where cross the line with Becky was that she <laughs> would leave Becky. trash everywhere, yeah, food gross. everywhere. 
she didn't do laundry more than five times that entire year. Oof. Um, Becky she thought, did not. Right. She told me that because she had ADHD, oh, she God. could not do chores. And so then we would get in little <laughs> standoff. That's what I tell my wife. We would get in standoff battles where I would refuse to take out the trash for her because I had been doing it for weeks. And it would get to points where a lot of times we would have three or four full-size trash bags in our room Just because at your I, door. Was, I was not going to fold and do it. Didn't she also like shower once a week but yes. put self-tanner on every Becky day? Becky thought after Gross. you get oh, a self-tan, you don't wash it off. Oh. She thought it was a life hack to not wash it. <laughs> she she would go. Yeah, because it, wouldn't, it won't set in. Yeah. She would go get a spray <laughs> no, tan. Ever. At no, all. No. ever. She would go get a spray tan three times a week and shower once. You know what's crazy those. is as you were saying this, I was like, Becky and I would have gotten along very well. I would, Becky I would, would have had sex with you if you had made eye contact with her. Well, I, I, I didn't. I, I, was, I had a girlfriend back in She at would home. still try. Oh, they always tried. But I had okay. a girlfriend and I didn't. She would have only tried if Elle had tried to first. Yeah. Why do you have air quotes around girlfriend? Like you either have a girlfriend no, or I you had have a, a I had a I had a I had a girlfriend and I didn't <laughs> like I refused. Like all these these girls would come on to me and I'd be like, I can't, I have a girlfriend and like it would it got to the point where it was like a joke because I would get shit faced and then I would just like say her address to the point that my sweet mates would know her address. I was like, I can't because someone's waiting for me at then I'd say the address. It was fucking crazy. So you didn't have a girlfriend. That's weak. I dude. did. And then this one girl broke me down. She would just show up every day and just be like, That's fine. I just want to. I just want to nap with you, and I'd be like, "Oh, motherfucker!" And then she'd like kiss my ear, and finally, I snapped one day, and I kissed her. I felt so bad that I was like, "You got to go." I drove all the way home, called my girlfriend over, and I was like, "You got to come over here. We have to talk." She shows up with a bottle of champagne and strawberries that were then like dipped in chocolate, and she was like, "I brought this," and I was like. Oh, she was like, and then I want to do all these things. And I was like, oh, we really have to talk before all of that happens. And then I, I dumped her and apparently the champagne, I ended up drinking it myself. I did, <laughs> I did take it from her. <laughs> you <laughs> didn't accept the You didn't have to drive home to do that. I did. It was, I was mental. I was yeah. mental. And then I came back and then I was with that girl for like three years. It was a fucking nightmare. Wait, the nibbler? <laughs> the nibbler. <laughs> nibbler. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't until later in my college career when I realized she was fucking nuts mm. that I was able to really enjoy freshman year. All right, so Kate's on uh, week two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you I, learned this all that quick. Like, I that would all say, happened in two weeks? I mean, very, very, very quickly. She had told me before that she was a little bit messy, and I was like, oh, okay. You know, I am too. But, you know, I got there, and it, it's such a small space that I kind of kept it together. I really tried to. She made no attempt. It wasn't until March when I finally got her to understand that it was not her room and that it was our room. Oh, wow. And that is when she finally was like, oh, I'm so used to it just being my space. I never considered that it's our room and that I need to okay, keep it a little so bit more. Okay, so look at that. She grew. We're growing. Becky's growing. Becky did not grow. <laughs> she Becky did grew grow. horizontally. She <laughs> said it out loud, but she didn't follow her own advice. <laughs> no one's banging her if she reeks of B.O. Oh, and self That's what you lotion. would think. No, no, one's, no one's banging her more than once. Mm. Okay, oh, actually, no, that's a fair that track. Yeah, that, yeah, that's because you don't know it's gross till you try it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I tried oysters well, and go, no, I don't like for. oysters. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to bang B.O. self tanning stink. I would say worse than the trash was that she was very um, strong about the fact that she did not like sunlight in our room and she had picked the bed by the window. So I didn't get sunlight in my room all year. She sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yes. Yeah. We had a, we had a sweet mate like that. He was, he was pretty bad. Like I was bad, but I wasn't, I wasn't Becky bad. I wasn't right. B BB. <laughs> but or Brendan bad. Yeah. It was a different level though. <laughs> different level. level. BB. But this dude was such a dork and such a pain in the ass. That we ended up moving all his shit out one day while he was at class. Oh, like wow. we took all his shit and we moved it upstairs in the dorm and we put it in a different room and we moved all his roommate shit down and put it in my sweet mate's room. And he came back and he was like, where's all my stuff? We were like second floor, 211. He's like, well, no, this is my room. We were like, not anymore. We moved you out. And he's like, well, that's not how it works. You would have gotten kicked like, out of for that now. We got away with it. He just, he just moved upstairs with another dude. That's hilarious. Halfway through the first semester, we just couldn't 
we couldn't tolerate it, so we just moved him. It was the only solution. <laughs> so did Becky sign the lease back in November? Yes. All right, so now you're stuck with her moving well, that's into good, the softball year. You're giving her right. another chance. Well, not one, one of their dads is an attorney. Not only. Oh snap! <laughs> oh gosh. Not only was it the roommate part of it because I know that was awful, but she was just a bad person. She, yeah. Not saving any owls, right? No, she never. <laughs> yeah. No. Gross. Oh, Disgusting. I would never be friends with someone. Well, on she, the Fourth of July, I heard she. She you know she always had her shirt all the time. Off. Yeah. She would walk to class. I'm not kidding. Her, like, first... Because, you know, first week of school, everyone's dressing well. They're trying to, like, present themselves well. Oh, yeah. Second week is when the sweats come out. No. Going to tell the freshmen because they're made up to no. the hill Second at week 8 is, o'clock class. Oh, it's 30 degrees yeah. outside. No, and wait, second, like going to the club. second week is when the prostitute uniform comes yes. out. Yes. Becky would wear these... Am- not just Becky. Well, mostly Becky. But all the people, Beckys. All people knew her as the girl who did not wear clothes. Yes. She would wear a <laughs> American Eagle, like, boxers. American flag boxers rolled up so many times that there's, like, like what? A few inches. Ha- a few inches of no fabric. No stars, just stripes. Just stripes. <laughs> With horizontal stripes, too, One which labia. Is a, you know. she, One labia out. Oh. Sports bra. When that was her outfit. When she, she would cool. get... <laughs> sweaty or hot out in public when we were walking around, she would just take her shirt off like it was a life hack or something. She'd be like, Why? I love Becky's life hacks. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Life hacks with Becky. If only she best. showered. Yes. Showering's critical. That's something I always did. Well, then it got worse. I don't After- understand the people who don't like showering like it's torture like it's 10 minutes of your life and you feel great afterwards you like always the, feel it's like yeah. working out it's the same thing like you feel better when you work out yeah. you never go i shouldn't have done that and when you shower you go i don't regret it exactly it's yeah. very simple well it wasn't even just the showering it was also that she never took off her makeup either and she would make Ooh. so many little comments at me because you know, my skin, it doesn't always stay clear. It, like, if I didn't take off my makeup, I'd have hey, horrible you're, acne. You're a freshman she, in college. That's she would look at me yeah. washing my face, and she'd be like, wow, like, I love your commitment to your skincare routine. Like, I really hope that works out for you. Like, I don't really have <laughs> to take off minimal. my makeup. <laughs> and I was like, mm-hmm, okay. Does she smoke cigarettes? Um, when... When, she's when, she gets the, when it's offered to her. No, Happy no, no. days. I'm just I'm just wondering how her skin is going to end up. If you never yeah. take your makeup off and you're smoking all the time, like when she's 30, she's going to look 50. Yeah. It's just going to be. She already looks like she's 50. Sorry. She's banging 50 year olds. Yeah, pretty much. Well, things are hey. you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> <laughs> things are looking up. Like, is that BO and self tanning oil? Mm. Mm. I think Becky's on her way. Yeah. <laughs> well, things didn't get bad until after Rush because we. Her GPA was too low. Her GPA to rush was because too she didn't low. go to class. I remember finals week of first semester. I'm sitting in there, I'm working on like an essay I had, and she says, Kate, you know, I have something I really need to admit to you. I oh, stopped fuck? doing one of my classes back in September, and now I think I'm going to have to withdraw from it. And also... And our lease. Hey, hey! Yeah. Keep in mind, she had already withdrawn from a class that was fully online and asynchronous because she had forgotten about it for two months. I hate when that happens. You can only have three withdrawals. She's yeah. just How is she? She's, so she didn't make it out of that, that year. Oh, she oh, did. Oh, she did. She, she had pulled a, it off. Her GPA wouldn't have been high a, enough, she right? A, she had a 2.4 it's after tech. her first semester. Oh, uh, yeah. As an explore science so qu- teacher. Okay, question. <laughs> don't say say yes or no, but don't say... if. I know Elle's in a sorority. Kate, are you in a sorority? Different sororities? Yes. And the... Did Becky try to join yes. one of your yeah. sororities? Bro, she's in the best sorority. Well, no, that's what was so funny. Well, I don't know she's been the networking. best one. She told us is, yeah. that her dream as a little girl was to grow up to become a sorority girl. Which, that is, was why her net, which dream. is why networking was so important. Wow. I would bring her. It's pretty easy to become a sorority girl. Yeah. Like you just, yeah, money and a smile. Yeah. <laughs> she, I would invite her to like crush parties with me and that's yeah. when like a frat boy invites you and I'd bring her with me she would spend the whole time quote networking like just going around and like flirting with these boys and call it networking and I'm like they're not gonna help you get or she would harass sorority girls like, What's to sorority remember you her and, name? oh my god I wanna be in there like my name's Becky like oh my gosh like blah 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 and nice. like she sounds fantastic yeah. I do love but I miss this drama so she rushed a bunch and didn't get a bid well, for no, any of them so at 
tech, there is a GPA requirement for different sororities. And so they tell you going in, you, yeah. you're, you're required to go to an information meeting before you can rush. And they make it very clear if you do not have, what, a 2.6, 2.75 or Don't higher. Don't even bother. Yeah. Basically, yeah. You, you get, yeah. you'll, there's three out of like 12, 13. 13 sororities that will take you. And I guess she just kind of thought that maybe her personality. Well, would she be was like, I'm Becky. Beat so the rules. That, these rules, like it's showering, it's Becky, baby. that's a yeah. rule that doesn't... Uh, apply to me uh being clean is a rule that doesn't apply to me i'm yeah. becky and the word and made and blonde hair so i'm gonna get in anywhere that made was her Becky's mom mindset. buy that doesn't her hurt. it's it's i mean she's but they're girls yeah. girls don't want to see your boobs yeah, girls don't like other girls ah that's true and they don't like Especially sweaty girls we, yes no one likes a sweat hog mm-hmm. nope no one yoga, likes i've sweat always no said that it. it's just, I, I have to we have so much in common kate so so <laughs> so becky withdrew from the rush process yes all right oh so she didn't get into a sorority no Mm-mm. well because the sorority like when i when i like got into a the fraternity, fraternity got into her the frater- <laughs> <laughs> when i got into a fraternity my grades went up because i had like study halls and different things and then i also learned to clean that's mm-hmm. like yeah. that's what changed my life because I started cleaning everyone else's shit. I learned and to it's spray like if, pledge, but yeah. if you learn and wipe the edges of the sink and be like, I'm done. But if you learn to clean six houses, that's how, that's you know? what I did. Yeah. Sprayed pledge in the air, like everything's clean. See you guys. Oh, there. you're you're a bum. That was I, the worst pledge. I worked ever. my ass off. It's I, like, but uh, it's like then I learned. Wait, I can just do this at home. It's like yeah. every firefighter knows how to cook, like because you're gonna do it. It's part of the gig. Yeah. It, it changed my life. I was like, you can really do a shit ton of dishes in like half an hour. I'm like, okay, why mm. am I putting this off? Or you could spray, spray pledge in the air and be like, all the dishes are done and leave. <laughs> that shit would never fly. <laughs> that would never fly. Oh, I didn't say I didn't get hazed heavily. <laughs> we used to have, if, we, if it wasn't vacuum, vacuumed enough, we'd have to comb. So you didn't, you didn't fuck around. Mm. You got it done spotless houses when I pledged. <laughs> and then my house became tolerable by default. Okay, so you learned something. I did. But my freshman year, my roommate unfortunately had to deal with a little uh, little Becky. Well, a lot of freshman years are bad for people because they're not used to taking care of themselves. I didn't know what was going on. Did Becky decorate the whole wall with uh, beer cases? No, but she did steal... What are they called? The... Oh, Stone? no, when when frats take the picture of everyone. Oh, it's composite. Like composite. Yes. She, she would did, steal them. She did have one of those hang out. And she did make us a behavior chart um, that hung oh, in our door. I forgot dorm, about that. That she would very Were there four of y'all in there? No, so it was, it was me and Becky. In we, one room. We were in a traditional style dorm. Yeah. And then we had three other friends, and we were all on this behavior chart. Oh. And she did you? Would, how'd you do? Oh, it would depend Everyone on how Becky was feeling. Except, except for, Becky. for one person. <laughs> Let me Becky, guess. Right? No, it would be like the rankings would go from like legendary, like you did something amazing to just you are in wow. what, the, the doghouse. She would do something like hook up with a guy she's always wanted to and she'd put herself at legendary. I would, I would get like an A on like a 20 page paper and I would stay on like. You Mid. just exist yep. today. Oh, wow. Um, and and L, L if was I, always if, on the trash tier. Yes. Yeah, it, I was always in the doghouse. I love that she ranked you guys because she's, you know, well, she's better than you. Yes. I mean, you oh, know that, yeah, right? Because okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure because the chart, clearly. Yeah, right. She's well, not, we not, not biased at all, ever. She, she no. sucked the frat guy's dick. Legendary. Yes. No, literally. Boom. You got an A on a paper you well, worked on all semester. Kill yourself. Yeah. That's fucked out. <laughs> what were the tiers? It was legendary... Um, it was basically like really good, good, mid, not great, bad doghouse. Yes. And how many times were you in the doghouse, L? Oh, like four or five times. Anytime <laughs> she talked to a guy that she had a crush on. Anytime. Because, well, the thing was, so. I kind Becky, of like Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Becky called us twins because. You and Becky. Yeah, Becky would call me and her twins because we had similar features. but Two. Blonde two, hair. Two. Similar. Blonde hair and. Yeah. Hooters. We take our shirts off to save owls for a reason, you know? <laughs> yeah. And so she would get really, really mad when, because I was like, I was very 
I loved this I job. went out a lot. Like, she compared herself to you. Yes. And, and if I was you did very better, social. she was jealous. Yes. So I had like lots of male friends, like strictly. And I would talk to them at a night out. Eh, you don't. She, you don't. Okay. You have zero <laughs> male friends. <laughs> yeah. I treated them as male friends. Kate I, under- it. Kate I understand that, but uh, yeah, the whole yeah. girl guy friendship thing. It's a. Uh, guys the guys that I tr- see as only friends. And I, I understand that, but you are the one driving. But they saw that. you as only fans. Yes. <laughs> but you're the one Crazy. driving that. Like, like, yes. How many times has a guy if gone? If I didn't want to oh, be friends no, anymore, we're they, just friends. Yeah, they would. They would not. Yeah. They would. Oh, want your more. enemy, gross. I just been here for the friendship. <laughs> yeah, I mean, think about how yeah. many times you friend zoned in a girl. It's pretty rare. Uh, but you friends, yeah. you friend zoned in guys this week. Yeah. Like that's just, that's just the reality. Being a girl. It. Yeah, that's just that's and just how it works. Tech yeah. is like sixty plus percent male. Mm-hmm. So there's a Thank lot God. of competition. Yeah. And a lot, but yeah, a lot Becky, of them are tools. Becky would go around and say, oh, people people get us confused all the time. All the, Never once happened. No. no. But no one ever. I mean, even with your eyes closed, you wouldn't get you guys confused no. because of the smell. <laughs> 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 well, one night we were at a fraternity house and one of my guy friends come, comes up to me. I'm talking to him for maybe 15, 20 minutes. He's from my hometown. We're catching up. She, we're done talking. I'm like, okay, like it was nice seeing you. I'm gonna go find my friends because we were planning on going here and then going out after that. So we weren't staying there all night. I'm going around this whole house uh, looking for them. I can't find them anywhere. I'm asking everyone I know. I'm like, have you seen Becky and friends? Like, I don't know where they are. They're like, we don't know. I know where they are. I check Life360. They're at a different fraternity house. They had left me there without saying goodbye. You share Life360 with friends? Yes. That's How smart. many friends are in your life? Three sixty. It was it was five of us. Five of us, including me and Kate. So like you in total. Oh, so it was just a roommate thing. It was so like it was a, a roommate and thing. close friends. Yes, it so was. It's like, more of a safety yes, thing yes. than like keeping up with your friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't Snapchat give you the ability to see like it almost was, it was all a your friends? Thing, yeah. Yes, because Snapchat's only when you're on Snapchat. So say Kate's out on a night out, doesn't go on Snap. I don't know where she is. If I'm worried about her, I can be like, okay, she was last seen here. I know where she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's smart. I've never, uh, I never had Life 360 this at like, a very that helpful stage of my life. Podcast for most of our audience. That yeah, has but that's kids getting ready to go for. That's college. very interesting. I don't think like, you need Life 360. Do that. I think it you was, can do that I mean, with Verizon it's, phones. It's very accurate too. I mean, it would show to even where in, where you are in, yeah. our, in our building. Becky's where we sucking would be. a dick right now. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, in room 305. Yep, that's exactly where <laughs> yeah. she is. Her icon's going up and down. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> That's kind of cool, though. I never, I never thought about that. That is, that is good because I have, I have young girls that soon enough will be doing this, and yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. your roommate should have you on their life yes. 360. So they leave yeah. me. All right. Pro tip. I, f- I. Verizon has a free version, like a. Yeah, but you have to. It's not as accurate. Everyone Those, has to have Verizon in my I house. Think, I think Life 360 is more accurate than Find My iPhone because that it won't update if you don't have service. I don't think. Yeah. I don't know. I was like. I have noticed Life 360 can do it some. That's weird my shit. house, so they must be. It must be pretty accurate. It looks like they're inside Who's of the outside? house. Outside, my wife, I guess. Oh, but don't you have to be on <laughs> Verizon to have that? Like well, we you, all have iPhones, I guess. I mean, well, that's the inherent. So iPhone, AT&T. iPhone, it'll work. But Life 360 yeah, works probably, across yeah, probably all the yeah. ecosystem. So it. But this is free, and Life 360 you pay for. No, it's free. no, no. If you, it the, is yeah. the oh, basic, I know that. the basic packages. Yeah, we're broke college students. We had the basic pack. Yeah. It was free. And it's all you need. Good job, Kate. But, <laughs> so I come... People love that. It's the, AS, it's the only ASMR in here. <laughs> 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 we get back to the dorm later, and I'm like, guys, like, what the heck? Like, that's, like, number one rule. You don't, like, it's like girl code. If you're going to the bathroom, you go with a girl. You never are doing something by yourself in a public setting. I'm like, you left me. I have one friend there like that i genuinely trust like i something could have happened to me becky looks at me she's like "Ah, you were talking to a boy like you always do is obvious you don't care about me and all you want to do is flirt with boys all day because i was at the other party that um they met me at when they left l and i they didn't give me any reason for concern they said that l wanted to stay there that she was talking to this guy and she was having fun they did not tell me that they, she didn't know that they left. That's bullshit because I was in fraternity and sorority sisters and even girlfriends, like, 
they don't leave each other like that. Exactly. They even, if that even if the one girl does want to stay, they're like, the hell, you're, the hell you are staying with this guy. You're going home with me. Exactly. I know where you're going. More often than not, it was a yeah. cock block. It exactly. wasn't a leave you out to the wolves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I respect the cock block. No. Just, it's just another hurdle. <laughs> yeah. And we had we had the ultimate, you know, cock block like defeater. Just like the really hungry, thirsty guy. Yeah. And be like, hey, talk to the horse. <laughs> <laughs> he always knew he was gonna yeah. cock block you because it was the gross one in the corner yeah. staring at you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Well, but with <laughs> Becky, everything was about boys. Genuinely everything. My the the reason that led up the my my final straw that led to kicking her out of the lease was she would always talk about boys like literally you could not speak with her for more than 5 minutes about a topic if it didn't include a boy specifically pike men these men did not know she existed mm-hmm. she what's it called a when a parasocial relationship yes, when you think like your best wow. friend is taylor swift no offense like yeah like with, <laughs> with, with celebrities and Talk especially she's looking at Trump. <laughs> yeah with, with influencers now it's you spend so much time focusing on these people watching where they go thinking like you know so much about them but they have like no idea what you are it's really fucked up with this we meet people <laughs> no i'm no oh. joke we will honestly meet people who are like they know everything about you yeah Guilty. but and, and you have no idea they exist actually dave was literally one of those most like, all of our third mics have been people we've met that listen to the show and they're like yeah dave knew us for a couple years or even before people we, we know, ever knew him. Even people that we know, like I'll run into fraternity brothers I haven't seen in 20 years and they'll be like, how are your boys and how's this? And, and I know you've been doing that. And I'm like, dude, I haven't talked to you in 20 years. He's like, well, I'm a listener. I'm like, oh, okay, and that, that checks out. I, I've had really good friends tell me, oh yeah, I guess we haven't caught up in a while. And I'm like, why? You know, why aren't we hanging out? And he's like, I see you every week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, but you don't. Like, we, we don't hang out. Like, I miss you too. I'd like to know how you're doing. Yeah. Right. The but, difference was these boys did not care how she was doing. Yeah. So, so when, it's, called, it's called parasocial? Yes. Yes. We looked it up because we were like, because Kate was like, there's I a knew, word for I this, it, there's yeah. a word for this. And we figured out, we're like, that's that's Becky. But one I'm day. i use that word, parasocial. I'm going to move it to quadrasocial. Why Sounds she, more important. Oh, uh, yeah. Twice as many. Go ahead. But, but that doesn't work. You, you can't just fucking make exactly. up words. That's why. Yeah, I'm ahead, moving uh, you from legendary it's, it's to octa- trash. You're in the doghouse. Doghouse. <laughs> social. <laughs> but one day, yeah. she would not shut up about this one guy. Keep in mind, this man, hes he was very attractive. Every girl wanted to get with him. Well, he's a pike. He, yeah. He's in pike. He yeah, would we knew. Flirt, <laughs> Clearly. Obviously. He would flirt with every girl. Like He even tried no like talking to me. Like His name it was Chad. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Well, our nickname for him was Joe Burrow because he was wearing a Joe Burrow like jersey. jersey and joe burrow's hot and the first time he met that him. was the name yeah. i made up for him because i was like he's hot he's wearing a joe burrow jersey so you're doing that whole parasocial thing yeah you know not me. a lot of heavy yeah. lifting there but yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like naming your puppy doggy or something mm-hmm. i don't know but no d-o-g d-o-g yeah, yeah of course but she wouldn't shut up about him and she was like he like talked to me for five minutes like he loves me like i'm gonna hook up with him tonight like all this and like I'm he did not even know tonight her name he did not ask for her snapchat he did not ask for anything about her she would not shut up about him and i looked at her and i'm like becky he has tried like getting with me he's not i'm not saying i'm special i'm just saying like he, this is what he's known for oh that makes her she want him so much more got, yep. no she got so how mad dare at me. you she was like how dare you say that and she wouldn't talk to me for the rest of the night on that note well, it is a shitty thing to say you're kind of being a bee well, I had to be honest because it was getting to no, the it point. No, it was very. Kate was there. It was like insufferable. It was like a mosquito in your ear. Yes. And it's, a, it's a dude and that I was actually, trying to get laid, but this girl was like, he loves me. Yes. And yeah. Elle was like, no, he loves your vagina. But he didn't even because he did not try to hook up with her. No. He probably smelled the Becky B.O. from a mile away. He didn't want it. <laughs> this is basic. This, this podcast for 49 minutes now has been like a therapy session for them. <laughs> and like, I know you love it. They, it, well, I mean, if it's cathartic for you, I'm we sure the listeners... We have, wait, you haven't even let me say my big piece. Oh. I'm just like... This I'm is just advice shocked for your because daughters. now it's like the insight of 
It's just taking me back hood. to my college days and what the girls talked about me like. Like, yeah. oh, he's so handsome. Everybody <laughs> wants to get with him. I do remember like, that. Yeah. I've heard that. It's crazy. I've heard that. Yeah. I thought you were going to say, doesn't shower. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> but on that note, one time, again, talking about a boy for hours, like genuinely insufferable. I think I made, I was making a joke this time because I was like, okay, being up front with her didn't go well. I'm like, I'm going to make a little joke Be about it. Make a little joke, you know, in, um, in channeling my inner father, you know, trying mm. to be funny, make light of a not so funny situation. Mm. She looks at me, winds back and bitch slaps me across the face in the middle. Nice. nice. And then waiting for the <laughs> elevator. Whoa. Just like. How dare you, sir? And I looked at her. I had a mark on my face. What was that? He said nice. Oh, oh. Yeah. I just. You I, thank that. you. Thank I you. love a slap. I love a slap. Well, I, I have, had a I have handed out face. so many slaps. I just, I like it. I'm anti-violence. I looked at her and I said, Becky, why did you do that? She looked at me and she said, don't say that. So now, what... Hold on, what did you say to upset her? I, I was, she wouldn't shut up about uh-huh. a guy. I was like, okay, being up front with her didn't work. I'm oh, going to make a joke. I'm going to make a joke about it. I don't remember what I said, but I made a lighthearted joke that apparently wasn't think, so lighthearted. I think you were like, Becky, like, He's a slut. Like, come on. And she just what? Like I, I was like, he's a slut. He's yeah. not a fly. He's not attracted to that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been better. <laughs> but she did that multiple times. So she, she's violent. Yes. So she flies off the handle. Which is another reason why we were so took she's, so long to confront her because Oh, you're worried that how yeah. she's gonna yeah. react. How did she react Wake when up. you finally kicked her well, out? Well, poor Kate was sleeping next to her. Could have woke oh, up she would with her tickle Kate's her, Elle, like, uh, Elle knows this. Choking her out. Becky used to take pictures of me when I was asleep, and she would tell me as a joke that she would like tickle my feet to make sure I was really sleeping. So yeah, I was scared. That's creepy. That oh, she she's was going, fucking weird. Yes, I was. I was scared. I remember telling my mom <sighs> on the phone when I confronted Becky about everything. I was like. I think she might hurt me. So how did she take it when you guys said get the fuck out? Now I'm fucking now I'm interested. Like I shouldn't even be interested. I'm like, wait, tell me more. Well who did whose advice did they seek? To my you? wonderful father. Kate? Yes. Did you agree? Yes. I had to true. convince Kate. Well, I thought you were were probably like, how are we getting out of this? Kate was scared that she would be murdered in her sleep. So it was a No, it's a valid concern. If she's taking pictures of you in your sleep, she's already doing shit that's kind of crossing the line while you're asleep. We know that she's violent. We know that she drinks too much. We know that she's, she's on unhinged. and off of her medications. Yeah, we know she's unhinged. She's got mental disorders. I have the same one. ADHD. What? What? She was also. She didn't take one, her, That's one of four. She didn't take one her antidepressant four? medications for a month. She was also tindering with locals, with townies, right? Oh, respect. <laughs> There's, I, I'm back on Team Becky. Stop it. <laughs> she basically. There was, we had a falling out. Luckily, it, it was only, I think, the the second to last weekend before school ended. Mm-hmm. We had a big falling out because I found out that she had just been spreading crazy lies about me. I am not Becky. I doubt it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She's the definition of hinged. Yes. <laughs> um, and so I ended up, I kind of blacked out. I screamed at her for, I think, 10, 15 minutes. She did you literally black out when you were screaming? I don't at remember her? anything I said to her. Isn't Ooh. that a scary fucking feeling? I was so angry. I've I've, I've gotten that, yeah. yeah I've gotten so angry where I've 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 been in fights. I was shaking. I was I've, so I've, angry. I've been in physical fights where I've gotten angry. I remember the screaming, and then when it's over, I see the aftermath and know nothing about it. I've had screaming matches where I don't. It's just like you black out and you're like, what the fuck did I do? I don't That's remember, a scary. I don't remember you. anything I said. I first just remember you, it was bad. First you cut my mic. No, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the exact comment you made that led to that. No, no, I, I know where that came from. But I'm saying that is a very scary moment in time where your body, your brain will shut down because you go so far into fight or flight mode that, and you go so far into fight that everything shuts down and your body's putting all of its energy to win this win this moment so y'all have a falling out and but at this time you're still scared you're still in a lease and you're gonna be moving in but you're like well no so this was in the end of april me and l had already taken her off of our lease in march 
Um, but didn't tell her. But did not tell her. We were planning to make it seem like it was an accident. The oh, apartment complex that was already my advice. told us Sub- yeah. Yeah. subterfuge <laughs> that it, that this happens all the time, and that they would just tell her, you know, on the lease, it doesn't say that the apart the roommates that you request will be granted to you. So we were just gonna say, you know, man, that that stinks. I'm sorry about that. But oh, then, so when you blacked out, did you? I guess. Yeah, we told her. I said, we're not living with you. We're not friends. There's nothing you can do to reconcile this. We're done. We're over. And she just kind of looked at me and nodded and then walked out. And then for the last week of school, I... During exams. Yes. What a load off her mind because she didn't know how to get you guys out of that lease. (laughs) 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 She could finally focus on her her exams. I've been a total bitch for an entire year and they still want to hang out with me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So for the last week, it was it was honestly crazy the lengths that I had to go to avoid her. I would I didn't have classes all last week because none of my classes had actual exams, so I was pretty much done the whole last week that I was there. Okay. So I would fake sleep until she would wake up and leave in the morning and then it was not morning that girl would not leave till until like 12 so i would lay in my bed with my eyes closed until she would leave so i wouldn't have to speak to her and then she wouldn't come back i think until 2 a.m that whole week but i would knock myself up with non cold medicated nyquil to make myself fall asleep before she came back whoa i didn't know that that, that's a good move. That way you don't feel it when she stabs when, you. Yeah, when you die. <laughs> that way, uh, yeah, her, her tickling my feet doesn't wake me up. Yeah. Yo, that's creepy. And then and then um, I packed up all my stuff and I left without saying goodbye and she came back to an empty room. Any contact since? Nope. Well, there was one. She, when the lawyer got involved? No, the uh, apartment complex who oh. assured us that she was off the lease sent out an email in like July. I was like... Okay, here's your assignment. And she was on that email. Oh, no. <laughs> I saw red. I emailed them. I'm like, what? I was very professional. I was nice. But I was like, you promised. Do you us. know who I am? I saved an owl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With my boobs out. Thank you See very this much. See link. <laughs> I have 8 million views on TikTok. I'm super famous. <laughs> but they finally got back, but they never even sent us a follow up confirming our roommates. No, they did. No. You know you have the four that you have? Because they reached out to us. Oh. The hub, uh, the apartment complex never like told us who we were living with. By the way, I have a problem with that apartment complex. Yeah. This is a tip to future college parents. Is it a standalone or is it part of the college? It's standalone. Mm-hmm. And it's like the, it's the one that everyone wants to be in and they advertise like a thousand dollars a month and it's like. Okay, so a cheap place is like eight hundred a month. Yeah. Do you remember when we were, it was like I was like two twenty five? How yeah. are we gonna swing oh, it? No. <laughs> now now it's eight hundred. I was to, paying to more. Yeah, like two twenty. <laughs> yeah, it's like two yeah, eight hundred completely unfurnished. That's what you can get. Right, but the the hub is like a thousand dollars, utilities included. And I'm like, okay, and that's the that's like the priciest place. That sounds good. Then I then I get the lease, and by now. L's already like, this is where I'm staying. I'm like, okay. Well, it's you only have the apartment for 10 months. The $1,000 is 12 installments. Of course. That's how months work. Yeah. No, no. You An have, annual lease. You have the place for 10 months. You pay for 12 months. I can't stay for those other two months? No. And then they throw in like $250 of other fees. So it's 12. And that doesn't include utilities. Oh, that's actually not what? how leases work. Electric is separate. <laughs> you didn't tell me that. I did tell you that. Mother fuck. <laughs> this place is going to be 1,400 <laughs> times 12. It seems like what dark. a deal. Versus, no, well, the lights will be off when Versus 800 times 10. Good point. God Time for damn. a deli. Good thing you have all that extra money, Dave. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't even buy a car. I'm driving my son's car hey, right at now. At least you only have two children. And one can't go to college. Like, hey, boy, the Marines sound really good. Yeah. You I'm got not, not even joking. <laughs> Have them pay for college. Right. Say Marines. Or whatever. Not Marines, please. Yeah, oh, that's Coast the one. Guard, whatever. I'm talking about Marines. Whichever one has the a... Option. Nah. Whichever one will let you enlist. You and describe them as more you of don't, a ROTC you don't, you're, you're guy. You're anti-Marine. I just have... History with those, those ones. Yeah, but you can't hold that against those the entire pretenders. Marines. Yeah. 
She had a boyfriend who said, I'm joining the Marines. I'm becoming a professional sniper. Marsog. Yeah, I'm going into special forces. Right. And that dude, <laughs> he, he, he had a going away party that his parents and grandparents put on. And then, and I was like, he's not joining the Marines. He's lying to you. She's like, what? I'm like, trust me, he's lying to you. She's, he's having a going away party on Thursday and he's leaving Sunday. I'm like, he's not going. So Elle goes to the going away party and then Sunday, he doesn't leave for the Marines. And I was like, Elle, ask him why he didn't go to the Marines because he was supposed to go. And it was because his mother was dying. <laughs> nice. And he found out on Saturday night. So he, he emailed the Marines and said, I know I'm supposed to be on a plane in 12 hours, but I can't make it. And they're like, okay, buddy, thanks. He was never going. He was never going. Never going. And yeah. then the best part about it is on that 4th of July uh, tubing trip that we did where Ellen Kate saved an owl. It uh, was a bald eagle. Or whatever. And they, Some bird. They let, it, they let it die. Whatever. In a net. <laughs> one, one of the other girls that is in Elle's sorority also dated that guy freshman year of high school. And she was like, wait, he told you his mother was dying? That's what he told me in ninth grade. <laughs> wow. Oh, that poor mom's been through a lot. <laughs> Dude, you should introduce him to it's Becky. It's a miracle. Oh, you oh. should introduce, introduce him to Becky. Him and Becky. They're perfect together. Oh. We they have could the lie to each other. They could do this is a good this is a good connection. This is this would be awesome. She we have the founders the Mortal Bloom six point two hazy I don't, IPA. I don't think both of them would make it out alive. Citrus That's the point. And tropical note. Good. <laughs> Set him up. Yeah, this is what is the Founders Mortal Bloom Hazy IPA. I don't know anything about it. Are you guys? That was ASMR. Dave, I put cups there if they were gonna. Oh, Unless yeah. you guys want a fully. No, I'll taste. Well, have a little taste. Just pour uh, like three ounces in each. No, we'll just have a sip. You like IPA? I just took a sip. So just open up one. I'm still, I'm still growing my beer love. My dad brewed beer for a long time when I was younger. I think oh. that's oh, why yes. I have a, a taste for it because I grew up around the smell. Okay, but well then we'll, that one's yours. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if this is any good. Give me a little bit. I don't know what I'm dealing with here. Ooh, hey, yes, it's a hazy IPA. Pour some oh, in here for Elle. It's got a... Uh, it's got a stink to it, that's for sure. 6.2. It's got a stink. Yeah, because it's IPA. I don't know how to IPA. describe it except it tastes planty. Wait, hold, hold tight. Yeah, that's Take good. Take a few sips. Good. The first taste is going to throw you for a loop. The second taste will give you a clearer idea, and the third taste will probably tell you if you like it or don't. That's, t that's typically how these beers work, especially when coming from Miller Lite. Yeah. My first taste here, though... Interesting. That is what's rough about being a girl beer drinker is that everyone thinks I'm faking it just to get some attention. And I, I don't know what to tell people. I'm not drinking beer to appease you should look men to and your, seem cool. To your adoptive mama Joy. She's always been a female beer drinker. My wife was a big beer drinker, football watching woman. Now it's yeah. I am a football drinking lover. I worked for and recruiting for the tech football team my first semester. I love football. That was. I feel like a pick me. That, <laughs> you, you I'm were, so small. I'm gonna blow away in the wind. <laughs> Choose me. I like love beer me. And football. <laughs> I belong here. What did What did they have you do to get uh, recruits? Uh, she had to. I had to flirt with them. I'm not gonna lie. No, to you guys. did they actually say that? Yeah. Like they would treat it this like Hooters. This is the best thing I've ever heard. Hold on, so they would they would pull like so a Hooters, like just the be reason, nice. And... The reason that I ended up quitting that was because, you know, in high school I I was you know like an equipment manager. I ran my high school football team. Literally, my wife doing like laundry, no, like setting up. Whoa. No, setting but up. I mean, like my <laughs> wife was the equipment manager mm -hmm. in Easy. high school. Easy there. Then when I met her, she was like, I love football. I love drinking beer. Fast forward all these years, you will never carry my jock. <laughs> doesn't drink beer. It doesn't weigh much. Doesn't want to watch football. Dude, so, it's fucking yeah. huge. In high huge. school, I, yeah, I set up the practices I loved. I got to watch all the high school football games on the field. You know, I learned a lot about it just because I would talk to the players that didn't play, and I'd say, oh, what, what was that? What was that call? What was that flag? What? She just learned it. Yeah. And so then going into tech, the coach of my high school football team ended up helping me get a job with the tech football team in recruiting and I show up and I kind of quickly learn that my only job was that on game days I was to show up look pretty 
and talk to these high school recruits and try to figure out what they liked, what they didn't like. Oh, quite literally. So it was demeaning. Like, like yes. you had value in high school. Yes. You were like, I'm bringing value to this. I, I like smart. this situation. I, can, I, I mean, and it I, was literally I think just, you can be smart and... Did they pay well? No, they didn't pay anything. Uh, no, they don't. It's it's like a volunteer gig. Uh, that's an like, internship. That's, yeah, that's, that's awful. That's fucked up. So and they so, brought you down a peg. Yeah, so I literally didn't do anything except try and chat with these people. Kate also missed her entire first semester of college every single game day. She wasn't allowed yeah. to go to Center Street. She wasn't allowed to stand oh, in the... Oh, no. She never experienced... No top really of the stairs? ...really her Sandman. You can't do top of stairs till you're I mean, I will 21. say, every, right. all the inner <laughs> Sandmans I've had so far, I have gotten to be on the field. I met Michael Vick... Which was very cool. Oh, did you well, have that's your right, because you dog? want dogs to die. <laughs> <laughs> that look right there. <laughs> that's right. That was the first red flag with Becky, was that they were trying to save the dog. She meets Michael Vick, her face fucking lights up. If only Vick had gone Just to Becky's house. Just say that you're house. jealous. Just say that you're jealous, and we can move on to the next one. Uh, meeting Michael Vick, I can guarantee I'm not. <laughs> But, I know, no, no. Michael Vick. Michael Vick seems to have turned himself. But on be, being on the field, meeting NFL players, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> she did get pissed. That was a that was a look. I've been through a lot with that team. Okay, I don't need another blow. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> um, but right. yeah. I'll leave it there. I'll I'm that surprised be. that you guys are surprised she's telling the story. This does not shock me at all. It just, it, I guess it's it's shocking to me I'm that they would take the someone who is not even in school, right? You you got that job before you joined the, the school, and they're like, flirt with these guys. I didn't realize She didn't that. have the job till she was at school. No. no, I didn't get the job until they came and ha they wanted to meet me in person to see uh, if I was another pretty Another red or not. fucking flag, yeah. Wow, this is yeah, awesome. I, I, so you're I, telling I, me that, <laughs> like, here's the resume, that this college like, yeah. doesn't have high standards? I do not. I'm they not do stand have high here. standards. That's why they wanted to meet her in person. <laughs> and, I, and I will say there was, one, there was one girl on our team of interns who allegedly she did her job had, well. had the same <laughs> name as another girl who had been applying. They were both named Rachel. And apparently... They accidentally hired the wrong one. The ugly the one. And she was not a looker, but oh. she did, but she was good. She did her job. She was so invested, <laughs> but man, she was picked on by everyone. Oh no! For real? Real? <laughs> That's the worst. So she actually did work. They were like, "All right, well, you go get the shit." And put it <laughs> sometimes the ugly ones put in the extra work. Set up the cones. Rachel oh. does Blackbird. Blackbird. <laughs> <laughs> So many inappropriate jokes. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd have a filter because your daughter's here, but I see that. He didn't uh, last time. No, he did not. You don't understand how shitty he gets. Oh, I've seen. I've seen. Oh, shitty. you've seen nothing. You make some jokes at my expense. You've seen what I've let you see. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened to the podcast with you. You. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's let him. Usually, it's did after you hear the, the part where you've been uh, pretty quiet today? After the deli, he gets he gets more fun. Yeah, I, I ramp it up sure. in the last ten minutes. Well, let's see. Uh, what what do we think of this beer? Does anyone have any? Uh, I'll go. Opinions? Yeah, go this for it. This Beer sucks. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bold opinion. That is not a tasty beer. You were talking about it. jock straps, and it tastes like it was filtered through one. It is gross. Okay. Even the citrus that I usually like doesn't taste good. It is coating my mouth. It's not good, in my opinion. Uh, between one and five, what are you giving it? One and a half. Oh, Ooh. God. Bless. Is that a pour out? I, yeah, I don't know if I'd finish that. Wow. I'm clearly finishing I was, mine. I was going to say, this beer tastes like how Becky smells. Oh, are mm. you serious? This is BO and suntan lotion or self-tanning lotion? I'm not. I mean, I'm not a fan. I feel like I was expecting more. We didn't tell Kate how we grade. Well, one to on, five. Based on Kate's recommendation, I'm With not going to go. You can go half point. Same. <laughs> no, the look on her face is not pleasant. Two and a half right down the middle. Five has probably never even been hit. It's impossible. Five yeah. is the best and thing you've ever I, had. I agree with a one and a half or a one. Oof. Wow. Yeah. I wouldn't drink it again. All right. Wow. I mean, one one would put it at such a low level. Is it one and a half or one? That's actually critical information. 
I'll I'll drink go. it if it was my only option, which right now. Well, that's so one and a half. Then one and a half. Then a few days to get back to school will be. <laughs> okay, Dave, what do you think? Well, based on Kate's characterization, I feel like I should lick Becky because I like whoa, this whoa. beer. Whoa. Lick Becky? I like this beer. Your tongue mm-hmm. would turn orange. And Objection! She- <laughs> Hearsay! <laughs> First of all, if I did not know this was a Founders, I would like this beer, but I think fi- Founders has some quality stuff. I like hazy IPAs. I think it's pretty doggone good. And then you say that this is how Becky smells. I'm like, well, I don't agree. don't don't trust my recommendation. <laughs> I, I know nothing. Yeah, she's she's never only grown it. up around beer her and whole the, life. And the other thing, knowing, and micro brews, knowing that Dad this is brews yeah, beer. But what could she know? What, what does she possibly know? <laughs> Just sit over there and look pretty, said yeah. Dave. No, <laughs> <laughs> knowing that this it. is Founders, I bet I can get a thirty pack for twenty four bucks. That's what I'm guessing. It's. So I like this beer. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Okay. L, do you have an opinion on this beer? I don't like beer, but I kind of thought it was good. <laughs> it was okay. Yeah. So we've got one I'd half. I agree with the three and a half. She's my daughter. Three and a half. All right. Wait, didn't you say three and a half? Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Well, three point two five. And and L is not no rule. L is not <laughs> a uh, IPA drinker, so that's pretty. I'm a amazing. wine girl. Yeah, and. Soon to be tequila girl. It's my mission for my sophomore year. Mm, good tequila is pretty big, good. Big goals. I want the fancy pretty it. bottle. The first time I had real tequila, yeah, I I couldn't believe how easy it goes down. The problem is that the jump financially from average tequila mm-hmm. and bad tequila to good tequila has got to be one of the widest gaps in all of the liquors. You can find middling bourbons that do great. Vodka should True. all be cheap. True. Rums, you know, you can find some stuff. But tequila, in order for it to be good, costs a bunch. But you're right. When it's good, whew, but it's good. But when it's you, bad. But if you add a bunch of lime juice, yeah, but that's your, a little guava. 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 Agave. Agave. Yep. That's what it's made with. Guano. A guava. That shit. Mmm. Sounds mm. delicious. <laughs> So what this is this bowl made of? <laughs> this this mm. this beer is interesting to me. The first sip, I was like, "This is the best IPA I've ever had." I've never had an That's IPA. Jet lag. I get it. I, ugh, it's been a long day, but I never. Usually, the first sip is like the shocking sip, and then I settle in. This one, I was like, "Holy shit!" It's got all the things I like. It's, it's the it's shocker juicy. Ship. It's fruity. It's like great. Second sip, I was like, "Ew, is that metal?" And then like <laughs> it just started like it just started falling down. For me, this is a fairly middling IPA. It's a two and a half. Oof. So we got three and a half, three and a half. That's a 2.5. Yeah, it's right. Middling beer. Yeah, it looks like I nailed it. Checked <laughs> out. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> exactly down so, the middle. Troy, have you ever had um, all day IPA? Yeah. What do you think of that? That one, if I remember correctly, I scored slightly above average. It's a high-ranking IPA. So this is garbage compared to that? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. There you go. All right. This probably has a lot more going on compared to the all day, if I remember correctly. Right, right. Dave, you asked me a question a few weeks ago, and now that- Did we wrap up the Becky story? Becky's fucking out. Yes. (laughs) Becky's crazy. She's old news. And now- And what- so will you have to see her, talk to her? Yes, she's living in the same apartment complex as us. Yeah, but in, the, in probably like sure thousands of people in there. That she will approach our friends and think that she is still friends with them because she has this tendency to kind of latch on to She'll people. She'll act that like we nothing know. happened. And our we already have spoken to our friends. They know the plan. As soon as they see her and she tries to be friendly, they're gonna look her dead in the eyes and say. What the fuck are you doing? Get away from me. Go take a shower. Wow. She is Ooh. she is going to She sl- needs to drop out of tech is what she needs. She's to gonna do. slowly take you down. Sounds like she's gonna her way out. She's Ow. going to badmouth yeah. you to people. No, no I'm just one saying, will she listen. Has no I understand credibility. That, that she has no credibility and she's not going but I mean you need to be prepared for Oh they are. I've already coached them on the this. the ripples that will be coming from Becky and, and ultimately what could happen is she could find some other trashy people. That are banging town. And the thing is, if it comes to that, I will find her and she will have to look me dead in the eyes when I'm a foot taller than her. And I'll say, you want to you want to make this a big thing? Let's do it. 
I feel like Kate could kick the shit out of somebody. And I've been I waiting like to. I'm scared of Kate. I need to yeah. get my lick back and hit her back. I have so I'm always. Ready to. That's true. You owe her one. I've so that's always cool. wanted to fight someone. Oh, you and never I will fought anyone? Just, I will, no, because people know that I'm not scared to. And you know, I'm not, I'm not a tiny girl. I'll do it. I and think, so people have been very careful when they want to say words about me. They will keep it behind my back. Demure. Yes, very demure. <laughs> I, 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 Kate, very I've always <laughs> felt you were like a daughter to me. <laughs> no, one, <laughs> no, one, no one has ever said anything mean to me to my face. That's what I'll say about that. I find that if you, I feel like you can run your mouth. Yes. Like you know how to say the right thing to like to, devastate somebody. Yes, exactly. I find oh, that yeah. that if you're if you're good in, in intimidating people with your words, you can avoid most fights and win most fights just by shutting them down. The problem is that you can say things to the point where they will attack. I've had glasses thrown in my face. I've been punched. You've been I've, roofied like seven times. Yeah. Yeah. Well, none, of, none of this has ever happened to me. I know. I've been moving twice. Mm. I would just that say, you, you know, know of. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> the final thing I really want to uh, say hold about on, Brendan, Becky. what's over there? <laughs> it's not, it's fucking not adorable or funny, but go ahead. <laughs> All right. So we put a bow on the Becky problem. I, I just want to make sure. I we, think we should leave a message for her if she ends up listening to this podcast. She's, she's not going to listen to this podcast. I just want to say, I don't know. She likes things. She likes herself. So if she hears there's something about her. She might. Are watch. you guys going to broadcast that you were on a podcast tonight? If they spent the first hour talking about Becky, I don't know. I think they should. I think it'd be awesome. It's all stuff we said to her face. So I'll just say Becky. Try me, I dare you. Mm. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, Kate I would. Says I wish a motherfucker would. Okay, now I'll be standing behind Kate. I would say, I would say, <laughs> as any able person would. I would say, Becky, be the bigger person. Recognize that you have. You have <laughs> <laughs> That's my daughter. <laughs> I would say, Becky. That's a Dave quote Becky, right. realize that this friendship is obviously done, and I would just. Kind of give the old tip of the hat to them and move on. You've got a better life ahead of you, and it doesn't need to involve these two people. So just see them, be cordial to them, say, I recognize that we have our differences, but life is better when we're not in each other's lives, and move on. It's a big school with a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. You don't, you don't need to deal with this drama, nor do they, and that's, that's how I would handle it, and you still have an still entire life ahead of you. to make the best of it. That's what I said. That's how I would. That's how yeah, I would I'd turn deal it around, with it, Becky. You got it. You got this, Team Becky. <laughs> Cancel him. <laughs> Look, I'm just trying to help you guys not get fucking stabbed. <laughs> I'm giving her good advice. He is. <laughs> that's, that's that's the advice she should take. We could take Becky. I understand I that. I don't not crazy is crazy. Well, yeah, but no, I'm no. saying so if saying, she's wish. not willing to let it rest, I so she should let it rest. Yes, let and it rest. So will I. Yes, and that's how you move forward in life. That is real life. You go. You know what? Fuck you. I don't need you. We're good. So we don't have to engage in any way. But that bitch and ain't getting in any sorority. That's Mm-mm. the best part of growing up. Oh, there's honestly. two sororities that no longer. Oh, it's more all, than that. It's Eight? Well, it sounds like her GPA is not going to let her in any of them. Wow, maybe she just. But I tell you, that's honestly dick. one of the best things about being an adult is just knowing like I don't have to fucking talk to you. I'm going in a different direction. Yeah, that's see it, you later. It, that it did take yeah. me a long time to figure that out because yeah. I'd be like, can't wait to see this motherfucker. I'm gonna hit him. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hit him, and like that's all you think about. Yeah. And then after a while, you're like, I literally can just fucking ignore yep. you. And then you just go on. Yeah. And once I stop giving a shit about you, you're actually no longer a concern. Yep. Or you can cut their mic. <laughs> <laughs> but I like you. I want you to come back. So cutting your mic is just my little passive aggressive maneuver. You know? Oh, it's passive aggressive. This does get me to a t- There's something Dave brought up to me a while ago. And I'd like y'all's opinion too. Because this, this one kind of cuts a handful of ways. If somebody tells you that you're very photogenic Mm -hmm. is that a positive thing is that a negative thing what is your immediate if like i said you're so photogenic that's positive i would take it as a compliment Mm. okay see and that's 
Because I think there are certain people in this world who actually look better in photos. Uh -oh. oh, yeah. A catfish. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. A catfish? Yes. Yeah. I thought, I thought a catfish, catfish was, was when you faked some some. Yeah, thing. that's what I thought. hundred percent. But I think you can catfish. No, because by, I like, I typically say that I'm a reverse catfish and that I look better in person than I do in pictures. So, I wholeheartedly no, I don't agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, I saw, I'm waiting for you to say that. I've seen I saw some your photos. Insta and yeah. Oh my <laughs> god! Just like, girl. fuck's sake, get a filter. <laughs> Fucking smile, bitch. <laughs> no, like in in. In pictures, I look fucking awful. I've never been able to figure out how to smile. They're like smiling, like, <laughs> and like and yeah. there's like like shit eating grin, and everyone's like, oh, that's cool. But I think in person, I go up a couple points, but in photos, I lose a couple points, and it breaks my heart. So if someone told me I was photogenic, I'd be like, holy shit, that's great because I never look good in photos. Yeah. But then I could also see the other side of that where somebody's like, are you saying I look bad? So in here, the moment. Here's why I asked you the question. Yes. My wife has a friend, not a listener. Becky. I think. Who. No, that's Becca. We're talking about Becca. She's very pretty in general. And she also takes really good pictures. Like perfect, like perfect smile, perfect eyes, all that Is stuff. Is she recognized as being pretty across the board? Like does everybody yes. know she's pretty? Does she know she's pretty? No. She thinks mm. she has a weight problem. Oh, and so that's, that's a lot of women. And so does she have low self-esteem? Well, I, I think now I, I would not have thought prior, but she have daddy issues. Mm, that's yeah. What's hot. her number? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure because she's <laughs> sounding hotter and hotter by the moment. No, she's very, she's very pretty. She's loaded old money. Okay. So that's a strike. Stu, stop listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She was like, oh, I dated her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I never pulled out. She's single? <laughs> no, not single. But awesome, awesome person. And you can tell jokes with her and everything. But when they take a photograph and my wife self-sabotages her own photos, which is crazy. When she's drinking, when Troy comes out, Oof. the joy. Which is what we call Dave's wife. Yes. When she's, when she's drunk. drunk. When yes. Troy Just so comes people out, know, because it's not literally me. a Troy right yeah. here. Right. After 9 p.m., when Troy shows up, the heterosexual male sailor on leave. Yeah. It's like 24 years old, who inhabits my wife's she body. She literally has an he, alter ego. He. he yeah. Yeah. When Her they, alter ego is a dude. Is a dude. <laughs> oh, do you agree with this? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, you've, okay. you've met Troy. I'm, I've had a lot of interactions with Troy. Yeah. Some people call it alcoholism. <laughs> we call it Troy. And we so, call it Friday and Saturday nights. Right. So when Troy shows up and everyone's taking a group picture, Troy sticks his unusually long oh tongue God. out. Yeah. Hold and on. So this is the self-sabotage. <laughs> like self-sabotage. She'll, she'll look stupid in a photo. It's horrifying. Her, her friends will be like, Troy, put your tongue back in your mouth. She's like, he is like, Okay. Puts it back in. And Immediately. Then, and then when the flash comes out, the tongue pops out. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? But anyway, this other person who will be unnamed. By the way, like, my younger son does that. He makes silly faces. Is he and drunk? It, no. Oh. But it's annoying. Like, yes. it's someone who's oh trying to take a group photo. You're like, I just want one decent photo it's of my so, family or my group of friends. I've Could already ruined that? the group photo because they're like, who's you're that guy it? with Down syndrome? Yeah. <laughs> but then I'm standing next to Troy with the tongue sticking out, and they're like, what the fuck is wrong it's with these people? love on the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please tell me that. Love on the spectrum, Salisbury. Yeah, it is. That, you don't on know Netflix. about that? Oh, no, dude, it's I've a great show. This. Joy. It's like downs people. Like, yes. Uh, no autistic. Autistic. Oh, it's just autistic. Oh, so they don't, no, even, they don't pick up on any of the cues. Right. Dude, it's, a, it's like, oh, that's it's fantastic. It's it is. funny, but like, it's, it's not sweet. like, it's, it's sweet. Cute. Like, it's, it's wholesome. Yeah, it's very so they, wholesome. They don't make it funny. But no. Joy won't let me watch it. But the it. people that are going to hell. Because it's going to be so awesome. She doesn't want any competition. No, they. Whoa. <laughs> I think that was a dart thrown at my heart. <laughs> but what I miss? Hold on. I she said, wouldn't see it. I coming. said, Joy won't let me watch it. And Kate said, <laughs> oh, she, doesn't want any competition. <laughs> she doesn't want any competition. Yikes. I love my daughters. So good. So good to me. <laughs> 
I got it. Okay, mind. wait, finish your story. I'm in Which story? I think I'm on three. <laughs> Why? Yeah, you're really stewing the this. Yeah. You guys together, the All photogenic right. friends. So, so this one woman, a you're friend. Stewed, <laughs> I just stewed the podcast. <laughs> I got a great story. So, <laughs> so I went on an excursion. <laughs> no. You guys ever played bingo? Like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> so anyway, this woman who I think has self-esteem issues takes a beautiful picture and she's beautiful anyway and my wife says oh my gosh your picture's so good especially com she doesn't say this out loud but compared to her with her him with his tongue sticking out yeah she goes you're so photogenic and, and this that, offended her she was like how dare you what? and first of all troy is not sober not yeah not in her right mind his right mind and it's this, so confusing though. i know right and this woman is like, "How dare you? That's so insulting." And Troy is like, "I don't." I think this is reflective of uh, your wife's friend because that I, should not be an insult. I think so too. But I do think if you call somebody photogenic, you are implying. See, if someone that called me pretty. photogenic, I would think, "Holy shit, I'm even more handsome in pictures than I am on day to day life." Like, I would immediately go, That's like, why, yeah. I'm a it troll. I, it just means like, you look good in pictures. Yeah. Because being not photogenic like, is, like, you only look good in person. You, don't look, you look, don't look great in pictures. That's fine. Being photogenic is you look good in both. It's not like yes. you're ugly, no, but you look good. No, photogenic means you look good in one. Yeah, how I do you, know. how I don't you look? That's, that's, no. That means you need to look at... that. That's... Because it's no, one, no one is going to say an ugly inward. person looks photogenic. Yes. Because it's They're not, just not going to make a comment about it. You can it. smile well. You can pose well. It's yeah. But you this is natural. coming from somebody who genuinely believes they look gross in photos and better in person. So yeah, like, but you don't I have a carry... self-esteem problem. No, because I'm awesome. Yeah, see? But I carry that, that weight of somebody who, yeah. every time I look at a photo, 95% of the time, like, if I had to create... I don't a, think I'm photogenic. If I had to create a Tinder profile, it would take me a year. Yeah. What about a grinder profile? Five seconds. <laughs> yes, dude. It's a dick pic. I did that Dicks and abs. Ago. Yeah, Wait, what? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> dick and abs, dude. Like, I got this, dude. Yeah, my grinder profile is set, man. It's I'm not worried up. about that. Yeah, I've already, I just haven't hit submit. <laughs> Again. I'm just waiting for my wife to say it's over. I'll be like, ah, that's what you think. Joke's on you. I'll yeah. find someone that watches football. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Dick's Kate not... said she set up a grinder account? Yeah, she did. No, Kate said oh. Brendan did. Oh, okay. She's, she's See, she knows. She's quick on the uptake. Yeah, no, I just I I I do not feel like I'm photogenic. So I feel like how I could be. It, it to me it would be like you're so much better looking in person is what I hear when someone says you're photogenic. Yeah, but no, see, I, I feel the same way as yeah. you. No, I'm not I'm photogenic, but I would take it as a compliment. I, I tell people that they're photogenic, and I, I do think it's a compliment. I think I if look someone bad in said pictures, but you I'm, look great in this picture, would that be an insult? Because that's no, all, it's that's different. What you're saying. That's no, different. That's no, you look great in this picture. That's like I know I do look good, but if you say you're photogenic, I think it implies that if, I'm not. If that's attractive. insulting to you, you need to recalibrate your life. So Brandon, when, when have you ever told an ugly person that they're photogenic? Every time an ugly person. Every takes time a I good took a photo. school picture. Yeah. No, you don't say they're photogenic. You would say, oh, you look great in that picture. You wouldn't say all pictures. So you're if just lying ugly. to ugly people? You don't tell people they're ugly. Yeah, you just don't say anything. Yeah, but if they show you a picture, like, you don't know this, but you're going to, as you as you get married and have kids, you're going to meet a lot of ugly kids. And you're going to be like, oh, that kid's adorable. And that kid looks like something that was fucking born three planets away. Or oh, squoze out you of a do vagina. That? I just go, oof. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Is that yours? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you think no, I'm I, joking? I look no, back. No, I believe you're an asshole. No, I'm, I'm fully aware. I'm not an asshole. I'm honest. There is a fine line. You can be so both. Honest. Honest. Tell the truth. You can be both. Dude, I look back at my own kids that I thought were the most beautiful thing I'd ever laid eyes on. Because they were. Because they're my kids. But, but I look back and I go... Mm, not nearly as cute as a kid as I thought. Everyone does that. No, but most people don't come back around and admit to it. When they my kids think. were born, I was like, they're L L's shooting me <laughs> daggers. <laughs> L at... I was a pageant girl when I was a child. Thank you very no, much. You no, know, we're talking newborn. You were beautiful, but when you were a newborn, you looked like me dressed up as the Michelin man. <laughs> you were a pageant girl? Yeah. She wasn't a pageant girl. Yes, I was. Wait. I can't... 
when I was little. No, yeah, but huh? but here's a great story. We went to oh, the he just, lie on my name. Just, we Ask went, mommy. We went to the Nutcracker. He just moved on. We went to the Nutcracker in Durham, North him. Carolina, and that you could pay ten dollars to get your photograph taken with the star of the show, whatever that character is. Oh, uh, I don't, I don't. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. The little dancer, Sound, ballerina good. girl. We went every year. Sounds good. And we went one year, and we paid the ten dollars, and Elle got her picture taken with Clara. And the next year, we went back. And we're flipping through the program, and they're like, hey, and like halfway through uh, a one page ad, it was like, get your picture taken with Clara for $10. And it was that actress and Elle the previous year doing their whatever that move is plie or something. Like sure, that. plie, doing a plie together. And I'm like, oh my God, Elle is an uncompensated model. It was one of the proudest moments of my life. Aww. But you did look like me, dressed as a Michelin man when you were. Sometimes people tell me I still look like newborn. you, and I love you, but I take offense. To oh, that. when you meet boys, that's and way worse than photogenic. <laughs> yes, when way yeah. worse. Oh, way worse. They're like, you look just like your dad. I'm like, yeah. When look El- at him, and then look at me. What are you trying to say right now? If you now? bring a boy home that I don't approve of, I'm gonna be like, when you're banging my daughter, look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> That is fucking awkward. Right? Good. Okay. Yes. It took an hour 30, but here he is. There's that He's fucking back. weirdo. That's what you have to do. What? Got to protect the homestead. And he just gets more and You get it, Kate. No, she doesn't. That was weird. <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? I want that dude out immediately. People tell my kid's <laughs> sister she looks like a long hair version of me, and it's... I'm sure that cuts deep. <laughs> I got a buddy whose sister looks exactly like him, and she's fucking gorgeous. And I never found, I never thought he was a good looking dude. And then I was like, it's because he has short hair. I didn't know. If he had long hair, you'd bang him again. <laughs> I've, <laughs> yeah, huh? I definitely beckied. I definitely beckied him. I did it once, but ill. He was like, <laughs> Brandon smells like tanning lotion and despair. No, it's just, it is funny how sometimes you see like the exact same person and just one's female, one's male. And you're like, oh, those features work way better over there. Mm. And you, it, it happens all the time. L. Yeah. Well, I'm saying if you, if y'all look alike, she wins. Yeah, totally. We don't look alike. I don't think you guys look very alike. When I think I, L looks just like her mother. When yeah, I was 19. I yeah. Well, when no, I was I'm 19, yeah. I was very I attractive. <laughs> So there Matt you go. checks out. Yeah, that's exactly. carry the one. Yeah, I don't. I don't even have yeah, to. Yeah, exactly. I don't have to. It was an even. Even. Yeah. Very easy. Joy. Joy is so hot. Yeah. Milf. Agreed. Yeah. yeah she's got weird taste. Well, uh, <laughs> Rufy's help. I mean, Bill Cosby was on to something. Yeah, you're so photogenic. <laughs> <laughs> so very photogenic. Look how weird. That's yes. going to be an inside joke now. Anytime someone's like doing something, you'll be like, you're so photogenic, aren't you? Just piss them off. How does Becky look in photos? <laughs> oh, my God. She makes I'm going to have to face. see a photo of this. Becky. I'm not kidding. Is she, a, du- every... is she a, duck, a duck face person? No, it's, yes. not, even, oh, it's yeah. not even that. Nice. It's like it's like a smirk uh, with pouty lips. She looks like she she's, thinks she's being conniving. Cute. It's like there's something going on up there. She's plotting. It's like... I'm gonna Every sleep till oh, it's the stupid duck face. Yes. Like it's the the ignorant, like the dummy duck yes. face. Another that reminds me of another thing she does. She's I love like this. sometimes she, like she could be smart if she applied herself. Like like yeah. She could be smart if she applied herself. When she goes out, she's like, Oh my god, like I'm just like I oh, like I just like don't even know what's going on. Like she dumps herself down in front of boys and it's the most embarrassing thing to watch. It's like Ooh. I just thought of a great episode name. Okay. Head on a pike. <laughs> <laughs> Starring That's Becky funny. Bo. No, let that be. Sorry. I can't. That would that would annoy me. That would annoy me hearing that. Right? Hearing someone talk like that. Right. But yeah. I think a lot of people think that 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 stupid lilt is attractive. Yeah. I mean that yeah. happens all the time. People go. Yeah. Oh, okay. The vocal fry. I, I they also saw, say there's trauma behind that. I saw a woman today who was on the phone, and this was crazy. She had her man like we were standing in the in like the TSA line, like getting everything checked, and this man was just standing there, 
having to like wait by the side and keep going. No, no, you can go on waiting on her. No, no, you can go on waiting on her. After what he was gone, she doing? She was on the phone uh, and she's like, uh, I don't know. And she's like, she's doing this kind of like stupid hot voice. You uh, know? And this he guy, looked like a beaten, broken and he's individual. Just, he's just broken and he's standing there and he keeps letting people go by. Like, you can go by, you can go by. Sorry, I'm just waiting on her. And she's like, oh, you know, I, I, I feel like. From a business perspective, oh lord, we should we should probably not do that. Does she have vocal fry? She was just doing that whole thing, right? And then as soon as she hangs up the phone, she's like, "All right, Todd, we gotta go." <laughs> and I was like, "Damn!" <laughs> like, like she was putting on she put this, on a whole like yeah, different she was doing, persona, but she was doing stupid, sexy voice in a business call because mm-hmm. she thought that was going to advance her. And so, ew. <laughs> What's she holding up? Pregnancy test? <laughs> uh, we had to so do Elle's showing a picture of together. Becky. Wait, show the one on yours. Oh, yeah. I did her so dirty on my Instagram. You have to see this. Mm, she's like the girl next door you want to move away from. Yeah. Well, the funny I hope thing, you're not talking about me. Like the first. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> Hold on. Yep, they're not twins? <laughs> the, first fo- Stop. the first football game we went to, Elle and Becky showed up and some other friends showed up to our modified tailgate and that's the first time I met her and I was like there's gonna be a problem with this one I mean and of course Joy was she's like, adorable she's there. adorable and delightful <laughs> she looks like the female green chipette chipmunk yes oh yeah oh, Alvin and the chipmunk yeah. Jesus does she not she the does. female Theodore yes yes she there does. was there That's was there was really one funny time I think t- just tying back to the photogenic she she does not like to smile in pictures and so there was one time she was like yeah it's hard to smile with the you duck know face. I don't really like to smile like I feel like my mouth is just really big doesn't look right whatever so she smiles for us and like we see a picture of it and me and Elle just kind of looked at each other and we were like we tried so hard oh. not to laugh <laughs> like fully speaking agreed of with the her. Photogen- photogenic thing she. Because I probably, you, I sorry. Just real she quick. lives rent free in your heads. Do you think she's talking about y'all? Yes. Yes. She edited her waist to be so smaller than mine, and posted on Instagram. You damn right. That's the move. That's so fucked up. Doesn't everybody do that? <laughs> Don't every day. Every no. Day. That's, that's how I get photogenic. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. All, all my photos, the background morphs around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Becky does not live rent free in my head. I don't think about her, but I will speak about her when I get the opportunity. If you to. get us started, we won't stop. <laughs> there's just so, so much, much to, to unpack. <laughs> there's there's some aspect of her that lives in your head. Fear. <laughs> there, there, it could be trauma. I mean, trauma lives rent free. Well, it's free a big in your part head. of their lives right now. I yeah. mean, the whole move thing. So going back to fen- photogenic, Brendan, is yeah. that an insult? It, it 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 is to me. It feels a little weird. So like so I actually side with her. So if you take a beautiful picture, like a M4K photo, and I'm like, dude, you look great in that photo. You're gonna be like, it's different. Dave That's thinks different. I'm ugly. No no no. You just said you look great in that photo. I'm willing to accept that. But photogenic right. hurts so you, me. So we take four photos in a row, or over the course of a month, and I'm like, oh, these photos are great. You're really photogenic. You're like, oh, that cuts me. I just, I feel, I only because you know how logical I live on, he is, right? I live on so, the other side of that coin hmm. where I feel like I, I look really bad in photos and I look better in person. So if somebody, it, it's the equivalent of somebody coming up to me saying, you look so much better in person. That would hurt me. And I'd be like, damn, I knew I looked bad in photos. And when I hear I'm photogenic, it makes me think, oh shit, they're not good looking in person. I think it's, it's look, it's my own demons I'm carrying. But but that I'm bringing to this your equation. Your advice to future people is future. Say you uh, look great in that photo. Don't say you you are so photogenic. Wow. It implies tell that, everyone they're hideous, and then you don't have to fuck around. But with But if it you anymore. say you look so great in that photo, it's like damn, you look so bad in every other picture you've taken. Yes. But you look pretty good at this yeah. one. I just think it's. I don't. I I, I understand that, what you're that's saying. That's a good picture of you. That's you even look the like you barely had do downs. <laughs> Is that what yeah. I said? You yeah. look normal. You yeah. only ruined I, this photo. Yeah. At tops, a Yay half chromosome. Yeah. No, I, I, I've seen uglier. Is that better? How's your relationship with your mother? Mine? Mm-hmm. Uh, weird for a long time. That was actually a joke. I didn't oh, really I was like, want, all right. I didn't really want an answer. <laughs> like I was... Historical. 
Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Well, I was like that little kid who like loved my mom like way too much at one time. Oh, Oedipus. Well, that's what worries me now that I'm older and wiser. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, did I have the fucking Oedipus complex? It's like weird. But I'm like, I don't ever remember wanting to fuck her. <laughs> like, like, I didn't think that was a thing. But yeah, I, it was like weird to me. I remember like I always wanted to be around my mom. I always insisted. Why is on, she with that loser named my dad? <laughs> yeah. I remember I got so upset one time. She got uh, like long fingernails one time, like like painted red. She came back and I was like, oh. <gasps> You're cheating on dad. Like I immediately like took that you as like, whore. yeah, I was like, you've done some hoary shit. And apparently I made such a stink that she never got her nails done again. Oh. Cause I like freaked out as a kid. I just, I took that as a sign probably cause I was like reading club international in the back room. They all had like long nails. That's a porn mag. And you guys went about that. Yeah. I like that you were reading it. Right. Well, yeah. For the articles. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing. I was illiterate. I skip right past the pictures, you know. I, I was illiterate to, to pictures. Word. Yeah. I was illiterate to pictures. Yeah. I could only read words. <laughs> weird. It was a weird fucking topic. Thanks, Dave. Yeah, that did get weird. <laughs> Leave it to Dave that. to make it weird. It was a one-liner joke, and it went off the rails. Yeah, because I was like, oh, boy, he's really tapping into some shit. <laughs> it's fucking tough. Well, I thank you guys so much for coming out. Yeah, thanks for having it was, us. It was, fucking... it was the best therapy session are you, ever. Are you going to yeah, tell yes. people that you're on a podcast? No, because she went. They went too far into the Becky. World. I didn't now go too won't. far. I've told everyone this. I spread the Becky gospel. But you didn't answer my question. Maybe. Mm. I think all. I think all she has to do is tell one person. You're an influencer. No, and I'm you, not. You are. You have twelve thousand <clears throat> followers on TikTok. Right, yeah, we're not, not on TikTok. Do. Right, the Chinese government already hates us. Well, we hate them for what they're doing to the Uyghurs. That doesn't doesn't work. I'm still. You can't bring it up. Doesn't I'm, work. I always say it. Doesn't work. Long story, but there's a, a horrendous genocide going on in China, and we oh, noticed God. that when we bring it up, our <laughs> listens in China would spike. Every These girls time. are dealing with serious are you problems. Serious? Deadly serious. Oh my god! If you said the word Uyghur in an episode, it would like show up in their trans and atrocities in the same sentence. Then it would show up. All of a sudden, you get this spike, and it was like the Chinese government. Like, what are they talking about? Are they are they proliferating like hate against That's us? That's scary. Yeah, maybe we should start talking about that. We're not going to call it Taipei. It's Taiwan. Oh, maybe I, maybe I've touched a new nerve. I was going to be like, I don't eat orange chicken, and no. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Your understanding of the Chinese situation is very surface level. <laughs> That's what I just like. Are you saying I can't go to the mall anymore? <laughs> it's smiling happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all so much for for, uh, for joining us <laughs> Thanks tonight. For having Good us. luck yeah, with your really new roommates. <laughs> yes, I hope your new ram- roommates are better than Becky. Well, the, wouldn't it be hard? Yeah. yeah. The bar's low. The bar is in hell. Do you each have your own room now? Yes. yes. That's an upgrade. Bathroom. Yep. And bathroom? Yep. Ooh, even better. Bougie. And we're instructing them to write their name on their food. <laughs> yes. And it's only $1,000 every two weeks, I heard. Fuck. <laughs> well, that doesn't include uh, utilities. No. Ah! <laughs> yeah, utilities or parking. I'm literally learning that tonight. Yeah, just take cold showers. Save oh. a fortune. Or don't, if we're taking Becky's advice. <laughs> yeah, just skip the show. Oh, Becky's dad Becky loves Lipe. her. <laughs> Maybe that was it. Her dad was just mad frugal. Mm. Her only daddy issue is frugality. They're I, from Nova. L shower in Kate's room when she's in class. It, it splits among everyone. It doesn't what? Matter. That's even worse. <laughs> what is this socialist <laughs> apartment fuck? complex? I had a house in Churchill with four guys and two moved out early and we were poor and broke. And th- one of them, the gas bill was in their name and they took the gas with them to their new place. So we didn't have gas. So we didn't have hot water and heat <laughs> for a couple months. I had the reverse on two separate occasions. I went home for the summer only for the assholes that had the shit in my name to just run it up and never pay the bills. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that that affects credit. Credit's mm-hmm. apparently super important. Yeah. And I got out. Of, I got out of college, and I went to like put shit in my name. And they're like, "Yeah, when you pay us the seven fifty that you owe us." And yeah. I'm like, "I don't owe you anything." And they're like, "Yeah, apparently this year." And I'm looking at the months, and I'm like, "I wasn't even there." Ah, oh. yeah, we were sleeping like up. 
electric blankets and taking cold showers. It was fun. That sounds good. Roommates are always awesome. Yeah. In fact, you learn a lot when you pick a spouse. (laughs) The one thing I have learned when I first moved in with my wife, I was like, this is the best roommate I've ever had. That I probably stayed with her more so because she was such a good roommate than any other factor. Based on blowjobs. Yeah, your Every other roommate, roommate I've ever had blew me. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Regardless. It was that's on the just, lease. Yeah, that's just that's so just what part did she do equation. that was better than your freshman year roommate? Dude, literally it was just like I've never I've never had a place where like she kept me in line the right amount. Mm. She didn't bother me. Like it was I don't know. I it was a very good living situation. I was like, boy, I can really live with this person. That was critical because every roommate I've ever had fucked me over. I've never even lived on my own. I always had multiple roommates. At least one, but usually multiple. Is your best roommate your wife? Uh, by far. I think it matters. Yeah. When you find somebody that's a I mean, a how's he going to answer that question? Honestly? But I do sleep with her more than my other roommates. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. But she gave me two pretty awesome kids. Oh. It's but no, sweet. I did have to train her up on the cleanliness. She wasn't on my level, but yeah. now she is. I had to get trained up. I'm a fucking nightmare. That I'm untrainable. Right. That's why I built a whole room out here. Yeah. <laughs> I could just do whatever in. Yep. I have a bike in the corner. That's right. What do you think about the banana seat? It looks pretty cool. It's kind of cool, right? How comfy is it? Not. Not. not yeah. I'm working through that. <laughs> well, I got the low rider with the banana seat. That's so. fucking trash. But this looks. That looks more padded than mine's like not. not I'm trying to figure out if I'm into comfort or cool. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Cool is going to win. With cool wins day. every time. It always does. Yep. All right, I'll try this again. Thank you guys so much <laughs> yeah. for joining. <laughs> Certainly do appreciate you coming out. Best of luck this year at Thank school. You. You're Thank going you. back to school. This is an exciting year. You're no longer with the football team. No. Nope. No, you're no longer with Becky. Nope. This is a I'm big a year agent. for you. It's free a agent. big year for yeah. you. Enjoy it. We will. These are literally the best years of your lives. It doesn't get any better till you retire, and then everyone else is your same age again. I don't know. I thought the first couple years after leaving college was pretty awesome. Actually, I can kind of agree with you. Now you have a little bit of money, and you actually get to go away from the Beckys of the world. It's actually kind of dope. So enjoy that. It's awesome. You're still in your prime. Yeah, Elf has no money. Why did you have to tell everyone? I'm um, just let, well, El has all the money okay, in the world. Okay, well, it's getting awkward. I'm just going to move <laughs> that up. Yep. If you guys Fade need a pair music. of sunglasses, head over to NectarSunglasses.com and drop ITPH in the coupon code. You'll get 20% off a pair of sunglasses. We need to change that. ITPH? To yeah. joy, remember? I don't even remember the reason for that. Because we need to change it. Because it's time to change the coupon code. Oh, okay. No, no other reason. Mm. We just need one. Joy gets you 15% off, and Troy gets you 20 <laughs> <laughs> If you need a mortgage, head over to ScreenDoorMortgage.com. Jimmy will take care of you. We know it's a difficult situation, but he'll make it relatively simple. I like that cup, Troy. Looks good. A screen door mortgage. If you guys have cup. too much discretionary money, head over to Venmo. Drop us some cash at... Inside the Pallet House at Venmo. That's easy enough. And Bailey, leave a review. Yes, we need more reviews. Yeah, who is Bailey? Right. Very intrigued. And Guy let, or girl. Let everyone know that Dave is your favorite. Oh, yeah. Just fucking seed it. That is really good there. I mean, if you feel that way. If you have topics you want to send us, do so at InsideThePalletHouse at gmail.com. We'll, uh, we'll talk about them. Oh, and can we give a shout out to Woody for getting y'all sandal, scandals hats? Yes, that was awesome. Oh, we I, was ro- I was rocking mine yesterday and earlier today. Yes. Thank you to Woody. You are uh, probably our favorite listener Definitely. right now. We should have dedicated half an episode to that. We should have, and we didn't talk about it. We got to bring that up. Yes. That was a really nice gesture. Yes. Yep. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be talking to you next week, and uh, you'll never hear me say this again, but for you all, go Hokies. (laughs) Yay! Cheers. Oh, cheers. almost (laughs) forgot. I was going to say Wahoo Wah. No. No? I'm out of here. They don't want to hear about better schools. Oh, (laughs) yeah. This is where you say something funny or cute if you want. Oh, I've said my piece. Okay. (laughs) That was a pretty good podcast, don't you think? Mm. Yeah.
sure you talk directly in the mic. <laughs> oh my God, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her butt. <laughs>